if you knew that he did do the crime, would you stop supporting him? He didn't. No, I know, I know. But hypothetically, let's say the evidence comes out and they're like, here is the irrefutable proof. Boom. The thing is, is that I know that he's innocent. I know. <laughs> oh, no. They're failing the meme hypothetical test. You want me to give you the precise number of people that died in the Holocaust? Yeah. Do you, know many, uh, do you think that's possible? Oh, OK. So wait, you your guys bar is really. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. He <laughs> just stepped into like the most obvious. When you're arguing with like neo-Nazi propaganda, the goal is never to provide an affirmative position. It's always to constantly, you know, mock and attack the uh, the, the, the ordinary position, the normative one, not in a moral sense, but the ordinary, the normal position. And usually the Nazi talking point is like, how could you possibly know how many people died in the Holocaust? Do they count all the ashes? Can you account for every missing person? How many bodies were buried? You don't know if there's more. You really think it's right? That's why Fuentes will sometimes say like, how many died? Six million, not a not a single, not a number more, not a number less, not one more, not one less. Six million exactly. That's the joke. So for Ethan to say. Ethan lost some weight. That's great. I did. Thanks for noticing. I appreciate that. Thanks, oh, man. Good job with that. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you saying that. And that's not even not even I was trying to be funny. Like dead serious. That's great. Yeah. That's good stuff. That's good. No, I no, I know. I, I know. I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that. Thank you guys. So you guys know that we're live, right? Just to be clear. And you guys are also live? Yeah, yeah. No okay, problem. okay, cool. I like to just mention it because sometimes people, they yeah, realize halfway people through, they're like, wait, this is live? I'm like... Uh, <laughs> not many people can do live, so we're one of the few. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Just to say oh. something nice about you guys here at the top, um... I gotta say, you guys do three lives per week, and we do that too, and I know it ain't easy. It's a real operation to put on three live shows every week, so I gotta give you guys props for that. I appreciate that, man. We even give you guys your kudos and say there's not many few, there's not many uh, podcast live streamers. It's us, you, Tim Cast, and Crowder. That's really it that I could think of. That Pretty live, much. And PBD, they just yeah. started doing it. So. Oh, they do? Yeah. Huh. They do live stream podcasts as well, so but most people don't do it for obvious reasons. So, you offer better insight when you're not as based and woke. You sound unhinged, triggered, and slightly unintelligent when you're trying to appease your fellow woke extremists. Charlie Chaplin, I am not your average conservative commentator who is constantly trying to be on his knees slurping semen out of your cup because he's so desperate for your attention, for your money, and for your support. Okay, when I'm on my stream, I'm just talking about things that I believe to be true. That's it. If you want to watch somebody be a political partisan hack, then go watch those people. They probably sound nicer to you. They probably sound more intelligent to you because they agree with everything that you already believe. I don't know why the f you would ever tune into my stream if you want to hear somebody talk about things that don't 100% agree with you politically. Okay? Vaccines are important to me because the efficacy on them was incredibly high, because the reduction in people that were going to the hospital and wasting my f money was incredibly good, and because they were an important breakthrough that I think as a capitalist that loves his country, America should have been able to take credit for, but we, we, we can't do that. We don't get credit for the vaccines because the left are losers that have a problem giving credit to any billionaire or any big company or any capitalist achievement, and the right is too busy getting high on their own paranoia farts because they can't trust anything that, that I, I guess, is from a company that employs more than 10 people or whatever, okay? So, you, okay? Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I hate you. Go to Canada, get healthcare, okay? Boom. Go to Canada, get healthcare. Please contribute. Be another number, okay? You can do it. Go up to Canada, be another number. Be a statistic, all right? Pump those numbers up up there. It's called MADE. It's a great program. Yeah, yeah. He's saying, I hope the next 50% of conservatives die is wild for someone who just broke into mainstream debates. Yeah, really? And if I go through your artistic feed of conservatives you talk to, how many of them are praying for a civil war? How many of them are saying Biden just declared war on the Constitution? How many of them cheer on things like January 6th? How many of them like are flying f***ing Confederate flags, by the way, which makes you a f***ing traitor to this f***ing country? How many of them are cheering on Abbott and 26 other Republican governors sending a National Guard to Texas to fight against the U.S. military? F*** you. F*** out of here. Like, oh, I, dude... God, I miss Nazis. I oh, I feel like Nazis are the best people because they said it with their chest. I hate, you know what I hate more than anything else? And Trumples do this better than everybody. I hate the cry bully. I hate the cry bully. If you were in chat and you were like, you know what, Destiny? You want 50 conservatives to die? I'm taking you out first in the Civil War. You know what I would say? I'd say base. I hope I buy my staccato. I hope I get my race cover. Because I would respect it. I would respect that. But when you come in, you're, yeah, you're, you're, you want to show me the dog. Meanwhile, you're probably on your fucking alternate, your 15th Twitter account because you've gotten banned on 14 of them, even under Elon's thing. Probably seven because you're just tweeting the N-word because you're like a 
14 year old retard, right? Actually, probably not. You're probably a 32 year old retard that acts like a 14 year old retard because you still live in your mom's fucking basement, okay? For you to sit here and pretend that I'm being like so insensitive when you support literally the most inflammatory leader, probably in all of US history, if not all world history, probably not all world history, but at least US history, get the fuck out of here with the selective outrage. Cry bullies suck. You're worse than every progressive trans person that goes online and shits on everybody and acts like a racist asshole because it's to white people, so it's okay, but then it's all of a sudden not okay when it's just some fuck you, okay? Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart. You know what? I hope the number's 55% now. You just, you made the number 5% higher. The tape bros got arrested again. Yeah. And, um, well, first of all, Aiden Ross did that shit, right? Like, do you think he should be catching some flack from the community? Uh, we don't know enough to comment on that. So, I mean, I don't know, Fresh, if you know anything else that I Well, I'll say this. But they were arrested, but they were, they were also released as well. Immediately, yeah. So that's a good, that's a good okay. news right there. True, they were released, but the judge is said they can be extradited to the UK just after their case finishes and went further and said they're not allowed to leave the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know too much about as far as like the Aiden situation and if that actually led. I know that, you know, in the news, they're saying that it potentially led to them being arrested. But, you know, what I do know is I'm pretty confident. About to go to the hospital. My wife is having our second baby. Her water just broke. We are alive because of the COVID vaccine. Good for you. If she's pregnant and she had a baby, what I suggested doing, and I know a lot of people are doing this to keep their baby safe in terms of the world, is when you get vaccinated, you should take the vaccine and stick it right into your stomach and then vaccinate your baby while your wife is pregnant. I hope you remember to do that. So your child comes into a world COVID free. I'm confident they're uh, innocent. We know that this stuff is BS. Um, <laughs> these women have made these accusations before, so. Can I ask you this? If you sure. knew, if you found out for sure that Aiden, him saying that is what got him arrested, do you think that that would, that he should get shit for that? Because I feel like he really, if it's true, which it seems like it is, is like crazy snitching. Like he got his boy arrested. Like it's well, crazy. At the finest. Yeah. Um, but we don't know. We just simply... I mean, he did apologize for it, though. Aiden did apologize. Apologize? You can't apologize for running over someone's grandma. You know what I mean? Like, what <laughs> the fuck? That, that was messed up, Aiden. Uh, so that's an L for you, buddy. Oh, but, so he did. Yeah. So it is confirmed. His life Pretty stream? much. It pretty much it is confirmed, yeah. It's been reported in the news. Oh, no, oh, even... Man. Dude, even Tate's lawyer, I think, put out a statement saying that it was because of Aiden Ross's fucking video. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't wow. see that. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. It is. Yeah. So, uh, L. Aiden. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, pre <clears throat> it's pretty amazing just that that's what took him down. I, I've wondered if Aiden is a, an in, a secret agent, maybe. Well, um, you would know better, better than us. Well, I'm not right? a secret agent. Oh. Or am I? You're saying that I'm secretly a red pill guy? Uh, I mean, I think you're very, very versatile, <laughs> but I don't know if you're a red pill. I'm versatile? I appreciate that. That's, I think that's a compliment. Um... So if you, you say that you think the tape bros are innocent, mm -hmm. yes. um, if you, let me Bro, ask you just... this, if you knew. God, fuck this red pill shit just bores the fuck out of me. Even all five ants is boring. Why can't they just permaban this person? I'm rest. She should just be permabanned. Like if you're, I don't understand. Or no, I, for her, I guess, because her main income is probably porn. But like, if you were a streamer and you're trying to make it, can you imagine pushing the boundaries this much? over and over and over and over and over and over again. Can you imagine pushing the boundaries this much? And like, you know that if she gets banned, it's gonna be three days. Like, it's so irritating that people just don't give a fuck because it's like a joke career, I guess, to them, or they don't give a fuck about the money or- Rusty. And with a little Rusty's. Yo, playing Fortnite, yes indeed. If I get unbanned from Twitch, I'm gonna do a green screen on my balls. And I'm just going to say the N-word for 20 minutes. That he did do the crime. Would you stop supporting him? He didn't. No, I know, I know, but hypothetical. <laughs> oh, no, did they just fail the hypothetical question? He will be able to answer this, right? You say that you think the tape bros are innocent. Mm -hmm. yes. um, if you, let me ask you this. If you knew that he did do the crime, would you stop supporting him? He didn't. No, I know, I know. But hypothetically, let's say the evidence comes out and they're like, here is the irrefutable proof. Boom. It's proven. Nobody can doubt it. Would you keep supporting him? 
The thing is, is that I know that he's innocent. I know. <laughs> oh no, bro. If this, do you understand that? They're failing the meme hypothetical test, but will any of the red pillars mention this? I did have one question for you, if you don't mind, um, just uh, the last one. How would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast this morning? Me? Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. How, how <laughs> what do you mean? Feel, how, how would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast this morning? <laughs> how it's would I feel funny. right now because I didn't eat breakfast this morning? It's funny because Andrew doesn't realize that he's the way he's up the analogy he's fucking up the thought experiment that's supposed to prove that they're stupid <laughs> because the, the hypothetical is supposed to be like oh let's say that you did eat breakfast well how would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast and if you're i guess over 80 iq you're like oh i guess i'd be hungry but if you're retarded you're like well but i did eat breakfast so i can't even hypothesize i can't even imagine what do you mean i did eat breakfast but she didn't so the question doesn't make any sense He's literally too much of an NPC to understand. It's like it's like a computer administering a, a Turing test to a human and pretending that the human failed to the computer that <laughs> doesn't even understand the test it's giving. Like, how do you fail your own? How do you fail your own hypothetical to test for cognizance? I did have one question for you, if you don't mind. Um, just uh, the last one. How would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast this morning? Me? Yeah. I didn't. Then he should be saying, oh, well, how would you feel if you did? That's what he should say next. But he's lost in his own shit right here. Yeah. How, how <laughs> what do you mean? Feel, how, how would you feel if you didn't eat breakfast this morning? How I feel right now, because I didn't eat breakfast this morning. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I did have one. Why did whatever post it? This looks so bad for Andrew. Because they both failed their own. They both failed their own test. Somebody failed this test and it wasn't her. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. Now they're failing the hypothetical. You keep supporting him. The thing is, is that I know that he's innocent. I know these girls... Yeah, you're not answering the question, though. It's important to know. <laughs> but that's that's why would I even go down that road to know that they're innocent? Man. Well, I think it's... An <laughs> what the fuck? The Tates have some solid takes, but I can't compare a grown man who take all their ideas as the gospel. What's going on with these fresh fucking... How can they not? There's no shot. This is real. Important to get to the heart of it because I'd like to know that if somebody was proven to be a R-wordist or a sex trafficker, would you continue to support them? And this is purely hypothetical. I mean, if he's innocent, then you got nothing to worry about. But if he's proven, and I mean, how do you prove it? Would you, stop, would you stop supporting him? If he, was, if he was doing that stuff, I would have known years ago. Would you continue to support him if he did that stuff he's accused of? I'm telling you, I wouldn't have been friends with him in the first place if he was one a, a trafficker or doing any of these things they're just talking about. Uh, Walter, would you support him? If been in the first did you cover the Britney Venti going after Andrew and his wife? She cut their juggler jugulars. I heard that. Um, I heard that his wife has like multiple kids from multiple prior marriages. Is that true? When he married her, whatever I heard, like whispers of stuff. It sounded unhinged. Now, I mean, like, hold on, let me be very clear. I don't mean that it's necessarily unhinged for that to be the case, but it's unhinged for him to have the positions he does and for that to be the case. He's like a polycuck. Three men? Fresh and fit in your chat. Oh, shit. Myron, you have to answer the hypothetical. The point of the hypothetical is just to see if you're allegiant to Tate because of the quality of his character, et cetera, et cetera, or if it's just like a partisan thing. That's why he's asking. If Tate was guilty, would you still defend him? The correct answer is no, I wouldn't defend him if he was guilty. But then you can reiterate and say, but I don't think he's guilty. Walter, would you support him? If, in the first place. Since, well, since, since he's not wanting to answer the question, maybe uh, uh, Walter will answer it. That pushed great allegations on other people? Yourself? Oh, sh okay. I'm happy to get into that. We'll just take it. We'll absolutely talk about that. You kind of, you busted your nut there right at the top, eh, Walter? I bust a whole heavy load, bro. Heavy you load. fucking ah. creamed your pants too fast, man. You got to pace oh, yourself. Big, big, big nuts, you, big you, nuts, right? Big, oh, absolutely, that. man. That was, I'm just simply, I'm simply saying, we've known these guys for years. We wouldn't have been friends with them and been cool with them to the level that we are if yeah. we were involved in any of that stuff. We know the guys very well. They're not like, dude. These charges are bogus. That's why you haven't heard anything about the case 
in months. You know, it, it, everybody knows it's a farce. And also, to be fair, their camera footage shows all the evidence. Yeah. So if you want to go into details. To be clear, the camera footage didn't show any evidence of anything that anybody purports. For some reason, like camera footage of the girls being out in this like gated area proves that they were all free the whole time or something. I don't know. This talking point is just completely not true. And I, some of the camera footage that people were showing around to make it seem like the girls were free, and if anything, actually looks even worse because it'll show like a guy literally walking a girl to a car before she gets in, after she gets out of the place. But I don't, I don't know. It seems. Uh, here, bro. So, I, so I, court, to be honest. I, I don't want to debate like the facts of the case because I've been through it and in my opinion it's irrefutable that being yeah. said you guys say the same careful when you say indictments are irrefutable because an indictment is just a it's a collection of facts and everything where um, the standard of evidence is probable cause for an indictment uh, but it's to say that it's like beyond well to be fair I haven't read through the entire indictment as well but like there is a chance of stuff in there I wouldn't even say that the Trump stuff from Mar-a-Lago is irrefutable. I think I usually always qualify it by saying if the stuff in the indictment is true. So technically, stuff in indictments could be misrepresented. There could be exonerating evidence, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera or exculpatory evidence, et cetera, et cetera. Be careful when you make really strong statements like this. Things so whatever. We I, I actually don't care about the the details. I'm just interested if you would support him if it was proven. If you saw a video of him raping a girl, I mean that's horrible to say. Uh, uh, sorry for being so vulgar. Would you be like? Would you stop supporting him? Well, to make it very clear, I wouldn't support anyone that did that. Okay, good. That's good. In general. What about you? Um, but, but luckily, we know he's innocent, so there you go. That's it. That, there okay. He kind of got there. Destiny, that's a good piece of advice, but you were also on stream saying that a grand jury indictment was a good justification for Trump's charges when grand juries will indict anyone for anything. So by definition, that is not true. A grand jury will not indict anyone for anything. A grand jury indictment should rise to the level of probable cause for an indictment to go out. And when I say a grand jury indictment was a good justification for charges, that's true because charges are contained in an indictment. That's tautologically true, you fucking retard. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, I can we hear can, you now. Yeah. But what I said was, we wouldn't even have been friends with him had that been a thing. We, we know these guys- That's not an answer. That's not an answer, though. I'm telling you, we wouldn't have been even friends with him in the first place. Do you usually have trouble not answering questions directly? No, it's not about that. It's about just, it's not even a, a real point. I mean, it's a real question. It has a question mark behind it. It's not- What the fuck does tautological even mean? That's not a real word, LOL. Tautological is like a thing is what it is. It's like contained in the definition. It's like saying, um, it's like saying like, I think that good guy is like a good person or that, no, a tautology would be like a, a word that contains like the definition in it itself. Um, why can't I fucking think, give me an example. Why the fuck can't I think of this right now? Like murder is bad would be tautological because murder by definition is an unjustified killing of a person. Murder is always bad. Badness is contained in the word murder. Murder is bad, that's a, essentially a tautology. Not even a scenario because they, they didn't do it. It's a hypothetical situation, which is what I explained in the beginning. I'm telling you, we wouldn't even have been friends in the first place. If Walter they crushed that question, by the way. At Destiny, there is a known saying in legal circles, you can indict a ham sandwich. Don't overestimate the level of the standard. I'm not overestimating the level of the standard. Hmm. Sorry. Like, you guys will take things out of pre-trial depositions and treat them like it's been proven. You guys think that Bill Clinton is a fucking pedophile because there's statements that have been leaked out of a deposition of a case that hasn't even gone to court yet. And you're gonna say you're gonna lecture me on fucking standards for charging documents? Go to Canada, get healthcare immediately, made, sign up for it. Pump those numbers up, please. The main accusers, Emma, Gabby, and Alion were seen on CCTV multiple times going in and out. I have the footage. That's great. Them walking in and out of a particular building doesn't say anything to the effect of whether their passwords were stolen, doesn't say anything to the effect of whether or not they were allowed to actually leave the premises, not just go outside of that gated area and then escort it into a car uh, unsupervised. It doesn't say anything about what their um, restrictions were given to them in text messages or whatever. Like, that's what the point of the whole investigation is. <clears throat> okay. He absolutely Amen. crushed it. He's like, nope. And I was like, y'all, Walter's the man. It's easy. Well, like I said before, we wouldn't even have been friends if that was the case. And we know these guys well. Yeah, and no, not. I hear you. That's not an answer to my question, though. Fine. But anyway, um, yeah. regardless, 
Let me ask you this then. Look, what would it take? Like, what evidence would be required to convince either one of you guys that he is guilty of some kind of crime? And again, you guys think he's innocent. You've seen the evidence. I'm talking just hypothetically, like, like I said, a video or something. Like, what would it take? I'm just curious. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that. We, the reason why I'm so, you know, strong on this is because I've looked at the case. I've looked at the evidence. I've looked at everything. I've looked at the surveillance footage. I know who the individuals are that made these allegations. And, and it's, it's all a farce, bro. It's all a lie. That's why I can speak so confidently about it. And I'm telling you, because I know these individuals personally. I've been, I spent a significant amount of time with them. I know that they're innocent. Also, so, Myron, you worked on cases like this before. And I've done cases like this before as well. You're you not know, a I've lawyer. Done. I mean, what the fuck? What do you mean you've worked cases like this? You have don't have credentials to I've talk arrested, about that. I've arrested human traffickers. I've well, well pl since I've when are police traffickers. lawyers? You have no legal standing to say you've worked on cases like this. That, that you don't. <sighs> Careful overstating the position here. A cop is not a lawyer. A police officer is not a lawyer. That's true. But if they're working especially as an investigator, which I'm pretty sure Myron did if he was part of, was it DHS? Um, you're going to know roughly the standards because you have to, right? Imagine if you've got an investigator or, or a detective or, or somebody that's working as part of a policing unit and you go and you break into somebody's house, you beat the shit out of them and then you drag them back and you're like, yo, this guy looks suspicious, like arrest him, like we're gonna do a case. Like obviously I'm gonna say, well, for 50 million different reasons, we can't use anything from this now. Congratulations, you fucked it all up. Like somebody that's working within the legal system in the, um, in the policing, especially depending upon how high up or whatever there are in investigative bodies, is going to know some standards about what you can charge people with and what level of evidence you need for things and your chain of custody. Blah, blah, blah. They'll know all this shit. Police um, lawyers, you have no legal standing to say you've worked on cases like this. That, that you don't I'm have any authority. Hold on, I'm the one that has to bring the case to the lawyer for prosecution, and I have to develop the evidence. What are you talking about? <laughs> develop the evidence? Does that mean faking evidence? What do you mean developing the evidence? Okay. As no, I'm, can't, I, I'm being facetious there. I'm not actually accusing okay. of anything. But All Walter, right. I saw you raise your hands like, uh, get a load of this guy. Since when do police, do you believe that a police officer has the training and authority to comment on, on uh, legal proceedings? Well, before the case is even brought up in the court, someone has to do the work, right? Yeah, they arrest people. Is right. it, since so when is that? So knowing cases and talking to juries and, for example, for example, um, you know, lawyers, yeah. example, you would know beforehand what's happening from a grown, grown work standpoint. So I think on some level he would know on the basis of what's happening with this case. There is no prosecution if there's no law enforcement to arrest the individuals for the prosecution. Yes, I know how it works that you arrest, but then it goes to court where people who are trained to talk about the law do that. So you're staying. So, uh, you, Ethan, I me mean, you're the this. Fuck, this is not a good line of attack. It just doesn't make sense. Somebody that is working as part of the system is gonna have decent knowledge of how a lot of parts of it work because because they work with the system. They, they have to work within the boundaries of the system. They have to know how they can collect evidence. They have to know what they're allowed to say, what they're not allowed to say. They can have cases entirely thrown out or discredited based on officer conduct, even at, even at the frontline officer conduct. Um, like if you don't Mirandize people or something dumb, or if you're doing uh, investigations without uh, you know um, reasonable suspicion to stop somebody or whatever, you can have entire things thrown out as a result of this. Um, so I mean, like these people are going to know. They're going to have like an idea. It's just, this just is not a good line of attack. I think the muscle, right? The police are the muscle. They go, so, they do the Ethan, thing. Let's, let's they don't clarify. make. I was a former special agent for DHS, and human trafficking was one of the primary crimes I investigate. Ethan lost here. Sure, that was from Fit or Fresh. I don't know. They don't make judgments. Uh, uh, uh. Let me clarify this for you. Yeah. I was a former special agent of Homeland Security. That's the feds. We Narc. don't bring it unless it's we don't bring the case forward unless it's ready for trial. We don't indict unless it's ready for trial. There's a reason why the feds. Have you don't right indict now. anybody. That's what the district attorney does. No, that's the AUSA's office. That, you know? Yeah. Assist United States Attorney's Office. United States Attorney's Office. And then the AUSA's assist United States Attorney's work underneath. You the indict US. people? No. Right. What I'm telling you is that the feds don't indict unless they're ready for trial, okay? The Eight, feds, no, bro, you can't, you can't do cast an umbrella and say you're, you know what I mean? Like, oh, we're all feds here. Like what? Yeah, that's what feds means. Feds is, a, is a, an employee of the federal government. Anybody that works under the CIA, the NHS, the, um, or, or well, no, hold on. Normally, it's, they'll be talking about like law enforcement. But anybody that works under the DHS or intelligence, actually, I think, well, hold on. Would you call somebody who works for the CIA a Fed? You, I'm pretty sure you would call like DHS and FBI. You'd call these people Feds, um, federal officers, federal investigators. 
you call it like CIA, um, like a Fed? I think you probably would. I think you probably would. Um, yeah, but you absolutely, somebody working for DHS or FBI, you would absolutely say that these people are feds, easily, 100%. Um, Bro, you can't, you can't do cast an umbrella and say you're, you know what I mean? Like, oh, we're all feds here. Like what, you're the FBI now too? I mean, what are you talking about? Well, if I had to guess, my bet is gonna be, my guess is gonna be there's probably a ton of cross communication between um, a lot of these like domestic policing agencies. Um, let me see what all falls under the Department of Homeland Security right now. Um, a lot of these like are under umbrellas. I need to memorize the... It goes under the DNI. Yeah, I think... I'm trying to think if it would all be under. Is the DHS, does that, is that under the... Yeah, it is. So the US intelligence community, um, fuck, Myron's calling me. What's up, what do you want? You know, you want me to hop on stream and explain this to you? Um, you Google everything? No, fuck off, I like Googling everything, okay? Listen, I get something wrong, tell me, okay? All right, just don't read it on Wikipedia then. Well, I got Wikipedia up right now, I'm looking at right at the Wikipedia page. Have fun. <laughs> All right, man, if you need anything, let me know, bro. Yeah, okay. Um, so 17 agencies are under the uh, US intelligence community, and I believe these all report to the, uh, uh, the Director of National Intelligence. Um, and this would include the uh, FBI, hold on. Uh, Air Force Intelligence, Army Intelligence, CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, Coast Guard, um, Defense Intelligence, Department of Energy, nuclear weapons and shit, uh, DHS, Department of Homeland Security, uh, State Department, Department of State, uh, Treasury, DEA, Drug Enforcement, FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Marine Corps Intelligence, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, the Space Force, I think is what, the, right? And then National Recon Office, the NSA, National Security Agency, uh, Naval Intelligence, Space Force Intelligence. Um, oh, geospatial is a different thing, just kidding. But uh, yeah, all of these people would be feds. Sorry, okay, just as a, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we're all feds here. Like what, you're the FBI now too? I mean, what are you talking about? They're all 1811s, AKA special agents. That's the job series, whether you're ATF, FBI, Homeland Security. I mean, Ethan. Oh, I'm, now he's naming, yeah. No, I'm gonna be very respectful here. You're out of your wheelhouse. If you wanna have this discussion, <laughs> you can. But every single uh, criminal investigator in the government that <laughs> investigations, me. typically it's a special agent, postal inspector, et cetera. It's an 1811 job series. It's all the same thing. They get paid the same level, et cetera. So criminal investigator, that's the general thing. Go okay. on USA, USAID, the, an 18 and you're gonna see it. I understand. The reason I bring it up is just because I hear you using those credentials frequently that's to say, to, to, you know, pass Andrew Tate. And I've always thought that it's just kind of silly really since you have no, since you have no really legal training. What? You have no training. Fuck. This is just a bizarre line. You have no legal training. Anybody that works with the legal system is going to have some sort of legal training. Like when we say like a uh, like somebody that works with like immigration as a cost enforcement enforcement like doesn't have any legal training or like an FBI agent doesn't have any legal training. Like that's such a weird that's such a weird statement to make. Um, because they're not a lawyer or because they're not a prosecutor or be like training and uh do you have, have you passed the bar exam have you taken the bar exam oh, like that's just not yeah you don't need do you don't need to take the bar exam to, to practice law probable cause to develop probable cause probable which is cause standard. that's like a right. fucking you're comparing hold a on. molehill to a hold mountain on. in terms hold of on. legality hold on to make an arrest, you need probable cause, and to get someone indicted, you need probable cause. However, at the federal level, AUSA is a very picky. They have the ability to take a case or not based on if it's good enough for them. They can go ahead and turn down cases. They actually turn down many cases. That's why most cases go to the state a lot of the times and don't end up getting prosecuted to the full extent. But when it goes to the feds and the AUSA actually takes it, they have a 98 to 99 percent win rate. Yeah, that's their lawyers are good. Criminals, that's why most well, criminals are scared of going to the feds. No, that's not true, what Ethan said, because their lawyers are good. It's because generally, um, the feds are, 
I'm saying this third party, I don't know this, I'm not a fucking Fed, but as I've heard it said many times, people that work within the system, Feds are pretty thorough on what they do. Like federal investigator is not gonna decide to bring a case on a whim. It's like, oh, fuck it, maybe we could fuck this dude or whatever, ooh, let's go. This is one of the reasons why conservatives are so scared sometimes about Donald Trump's federal charges, the two big federal cases, because it's like, oof, shit. Federal cases are really hard to beat because federal prosecutors aren't gonna waste their time on some bullshit, on some fucking uh, whatever random shit that they think maybe they could win in court, blah, blah, blah. It's, the cases are generally pretty tight. They cross all their T's out their eyes. Um, it's not just because they've got good lawyers. Are feds qualified to come to a legal conclusion though? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, if Myron was to give a, a debate, if he doesn't, maybe he does do this by the way. If he does do it, I would disagree with it. I don't know if he does because I don't watch his coverage of the Tate stuff, but if he were to say like, oh, well, I'm right on this because I'm a Fed. Like I know this because I'm a Fed, uh, fuck you. Then I'd say, okay, well, fuck you. Like th th that doesn't mean anything. But if he says, oh, well, I was a federal investigator, blah, 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 and this is why I know this. And so, and then he talks about the underlying constituent elements of whatever the fuck, you know, he's analyzing. Oh, well, then that's valid to bring up. This is my background. This is my, why I might know something on this. Um, it's okay to cite your background if you're talking about something. It's not okay to cite your background uh, in um, to replace talking about something. Um, yeah, so, so, but you would just attack the underlying things you say. If you disagree with them on something, you say, oh, well, you're wrong about this, so fuck you. And then you'd go into that. Um, but you wouldn't, attacking the credentials only makes sense if they use the credentials as a substitution for an argument. Sent win rate. Yeah, that's their lawyers are good. Criminals, that's why most well, criminals are scared of going to the feds. But the lawyers are good. However, they can't put a good case together unless the investigators make the case. The AUSAs aren't interviewing suspects. The AUSAs don't have informants. The AUSAs aren't doing surveillance. The AUSAs aren't doing Title III intercepts. The AUSAs aren't... I disagree. It's because the DAs are selecting very carefully for winnable cases, much like a surgeon selecting patients. What do you think you just said that disagrees with what I just said? Also, I don't technically on the federal level, they're not called, he, you, I don't remember the term, he used the term, like, it's not a district attorney. I think DA, the highest psycho is like stay low, but regardless, but like, what, what do you think you just said that disagrees with what I just said? You're just restating what I said in fewer words. The briefing sources, they're not doing any of that. It's the investigators that do that. And, and the thing is, is that when you're doing- It's a USA. What is that? Attorneys for United States of America for federal thing? crimes at a federal level, you're way more thorough in your report writing, in your investigation, etc. Okay, good. Thank, uh, thank you for clarifying that. Fed reacts. What's that, uh, Walter? This channel, Fed reacts. I mean, Feds I react. For, uh, a I proud for, Fed. So I, I, anyway, to touch back on the Andrew Tate thing, sure. I just want to show you guys this clip of him, and then and then you guys can comment on it. That's okay. Then you start saying things like. Oh yeah, but you're always working. Th th this is from one of his oh, courses that he attorney. was gotcha. uh, teaching uh, years ago. I have to do some traveling, and you can't come. I want to bring you with me. Traveling is a great one because the thing is about this business is mobile. If you can find a good Airbnb with good internet, you can run it somewhere else. So it's a good little caveat to throw in. Oh, uh, and you're always working. Why don't you work for me so we spend more time together? Or if you doing what? So I'll have a webcam business. Oh, I don't want to do that. So, okay, I know you don't want I to don't, you, There's just no possible way to defend any of these Andrew Tate statements. Unless you say he was trolling or memeing. There's just no shot you can defend any of these. I've seen all these videos. Yeah, but listen, come, let's have a meeting. Let's just talk about it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Fine. But let me explain it to you properly. In fact, I'll bring one of the girls who works for me. You, your bottom bitch, the new girl, you go out for fucking a nice dinner. Your bottom bitch is the one who does the selling. You don't do the selling. The girl has to hear it from a girl. And this is where your bottom bitch has to be trained. That's why I said it's so important to have a good first girl. Tax is also another important element for control. I think it's also questionable said his experience as a Fed in the US to comment on a Romanian legal case. No, I think that in, in the in the in most parts of the world, there's a ton of overlap between how legal systems tend to work. Like you can't, you're not like a credentialed expert in like fucking Romanian law, but there's gonna be a decent overlap in terms of how stuff works. A lot of stuff maps onto and is mirrored in legal systems all over the world. Trolling your woman. You're not gonna pay anybody tax because you're getting paid in Bitcoin. So you don't need to pay tax to anybody. You need to tell your girl that you're paying the tax because girls are lazy and girls are stupid and girls don't understand how taxes work. So the girl's working with you, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, we've made this much money, but I'm gonna pay the tax to make sure we don't get in trouble. She'll sit there and go, okay, okay. Now that allows you to do two things. 
One is another control element. If I work with him, my tax is not a problem. If I do it alone, I have to deal with taxes. Taxes are complicated. I mean, that, that's illegal, right? What he just described. So, so you're showing me a bunch of clips from, yeah. a, from a course yeah. from a decade ago. Well, what's, what's the purpose? What's Did your it stop clip? being illegal since it was 10? He, he says that he fa what's your, falsifies... Okay, what's point of but you said he didn't break the law, and he's saying here that he falsifies tax document to... to he lies to his employees, if you want to call that, uh, to, to control them. He lies on their taxes and steals money from them. Is that not a problem? So what is your point of contention here? Is, it, is, this, is this a debate on Andrew Tate now? Is this what this is going to be? Is this, bro, are you seriously trying to get out of this so quickly? No, like no, you no, can't I'm even not, engage I'm it at all. It, I'm saying I thought we were going to debate on masculinity or whatever, but go ahead. What's your point of contention? Is it well, no, I, this, is my own, this is my only question about Tate. I don't, I, I don't continue to go on and on about him. Yeah. No, tell me specifically, what's your point of contention? <laughs> oh, no. Is it him having a girl come with him to have dinner with the chick? Is it the taxes? What is it specifically? It's, it's, that it's actually... It, like I had said, the taxes part seems to be explicitly illegal and exploitative. Like, okay. I don't, there's no other way to interpret that unless you can illuminate me. Okay, so let me ask you this, Ethan. Uh, do you make as much money as the people that work for you? Can I ask you? Oh, no. What? This question, Myron, do you have a no, trouble just, answering direct questions? No, I'm, I'm going I'm gonna, to, I'm answering your question right now, but I need to, you to understand my perspective where I'm coming here so it makes sense. Do you make as much as the people that work underneath you? The answer is probably no, right? You make more money than they do, correct? Because you're the boss, you run the podcast, they are subordinates, correct? Sure. So, same in this situation. The women work for him, he has a webcam business, he takes the money, and he <laughs> does this with it to go ahead and run things. Okay? Are you, uh, do you actually believe that? Tax laws are different. Yeah. Do you Let me read this again. Let me watch this. Still sitting there. Okay, okay. Work underneath you. Now that allows you to do two things. Don't make as much money. One, it's another control element. If I work with him, my tax is not a problem. If I do it alone, I have to deal with taxes. Taxes are complicated. It's a control element. It allows you to pay her a smaller percentage. Pay her less. So I used to pay my girls 30%. So for every $10,000 they made, I'd give them three. And I'd keep seven. They thought they were on 50%. And I said that the disparity is because of taxes. So you're on 50%, but we had to pay the tax first, and then it's 50-50. If they say, why is it 50-50? Because I'm the one on camera. You say, because I'm the one typing. I'm the one with the, the property you're working in. I'm the one paying the bills, the electricity. I'm the one who's, uh, and the electricity and every other maintenance cost of this property. I'm the one who bought the equipment. I'm the one who knows what he's doing. I'm the one with the knowledge. I'm the da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Shut the fuck up. Go on. Yeah, and then he runs the bit. Oh, it's just like you are of H3 and you make significantly more than all of your employees. Yeah, I don't steal their money and lie to them about taxes. That's illegal. No, well, the point is, again, he's in Romania. He's not in the United States. That's I'm pretty <laughs> Okay. There's no shot that in Romania it's legal to lie to your employees about taxes. That's, there's, I admit I'm not a Romanian legal expert, but there's no shot that that's the case. Sure, it's illegal to steal money from people in Romania. Oh yeah, it's yeah. it's not about that. He's employing these women. They're making more money with him than they he, would have okay. before. The average salary in Romania is about four hundred dollars U.S. You Bro, understand? These the amount people? of money is literally yeah, in have, immaterial. He no, he he no. said he said I lied. Walter, what do you think about this? He he said uh, uh, Ethan, I Ethan, steal Ethan. money from these girls Ethan, and lie to them Ethan, about Ethan, it. He Ethan, he literally Ethan, said that. Ethan, Ethan, if we need to wait, hold on. Don't talk over Walter. I want to hear from him. No, there needs to be context here because you asked me this situation, right? You asked me for me specifically, so I'm going to go ahead and answer you. These women, okay, were making no money prior. The average salary in <laughs> Poor Walter is being used by both of these people. Oh, no. Mania is around $400 US. These girls are making 10 k plus a month at this point, okay? He's taking a percentage. They're still getting thousands of Bro, dollars. Oh, that's insane logic. You're saying it as long as, as long as someone you're stealing from gets like a, good, a decent I chunk, then it doesn't matter? Business. He's he lies running. to them. He says, he's, they, no, bro, he says they the think business. they're getting 50%. They're actually getting set. I tell them they're getting 50%. I'm actually giving them 7%. What do you call that? Let me ask you this, Ethan. Do your employees know exactly how much money you make and how much you pay them in comparison to how much I'm you make? I'm talking about no. their salary, bro. Why can't it's you answer a question? Same Walter, situation, go, my friend. Same it, situation. It, it's not. Walter, go ahead. I'm curious what you think. Yeah, so I just find it funny you're pinpointing Andrew because a lot of businesses run this way in America, especially. No, uh, <laughs> no. People do not lie about how much taxes they're paying and then with, and then secretly withhold money. That's called fucking theft. Well, I'm referring to people 
paying whatever whatever they want to pay employees. I'm just saying in general. It's not about people, salary, dude. It's nothing to do with that. That is about salary. That's extremely important, though. It doesn't matter how much they're making. Four hundred dollars right, a month. Bet. And this is this is why I love it. You play clips, right? And you and you're playing these clips out of context, and people don't know the full story of what it's like to live in Romania, how much money the average person makes, how much these women are making in comparison to the do, average person. Do you guys this, do that to your employees? You made these women millionaires, but That's you don't know question. that. Don't you? It, it doesn't honestly, matter how much money they make. Why don't you understand that, bro? Do you do you treat your matters. do you treat your employees that way? So now we're discussing how people treat their employees. I'm confused here. So we're <laughs> well, that's because that's what you guys wanted to make the conversation about. Ethan's t having a conversation on tax fraud, and then you guys want to make it on how you treat your employees and how you're having asking how you treat your employees. So of course, yeah. Being like Walter, stick with it, buddy. We we oh, no oh, offense, oh, but oh, this is literally oh, what we're discussing. This is boring, bro. Like okay, we can move on. We can move on. I, I don't think this is going anywhere anyway. I mean, but well, absolutely. But again, I'm not here to talk about Tate. I just, I just wanted to get your guys' thoughts on that. Although, I don't know, Walter, if you want to discuss I'm on, okay. any further on the, if you think he's described theft or if you think that this is just normal payroll stuff. I think it's irrelevant. Oh, uh, Walter, you were the answer to the question guy. So confronted with a tape of him confessing to a crime, we close our eyes and uh, think of better times. Again, he's running a business. <laughs> he's paying the women a percentage. What he tells them and what they get paid. I mean, it's at the end of the day, these women are making a bunch of money. He tells like, them a percentage. Go on, follow that thought. No, no, no. But what I'm telling you is that okay, relative they, to how much money they were making before, relative to where they live in Romania, relative to what they were doing prior, this is like... It doesn't money, matter. It's not relevant. It's a millionaires, dude. You know what? Ethan, this is simple. Tell your employees how much money you're making right now. It's got yeah, nothing to do, do with that. How much you pay them. And then tell them how much you pay them and see how they react. Frankly, yeah. they do have yeah. access to the financials I, of the podcast. I, I, I know exactly how much money. Yeah, they, they have. Returns. They do. Perfect. I'm literally telling you they have transparency. What do you want? Dan sees everything. Everybody in the podcast sees everything. Not that that's relevant at all. Great. Well, you know what? That is your business. That's how you have it. So wait, <laughs> well, hold on. But, but, but. Myra, what follow the what? thought. A follow the thought. You said he pays them a percentage. He said they think they're getting 50%. Then he says, actually, I give them 30%. He's lying, correct? Listen, man. I didn't think, bro. You want to put us in this hot seat to make us expose somebody on camera? Bosses oh. never tell Whatever their employees what they're actually... Like, they don't know oh? how much... Bro, to. that's payroll tax. That's a federal crime. You should know that. You're a Fed, right? That's true. Again, he lives in Romania. It's oh, well, oh, okay. So, so, so labor walks, like, by the way, most of the girls he traffics there are not even Romanian. Uh, but I guess if you wait, who did he traffic? Who did he traffic, Ethan? Okay, be, be first, Ethan. We want who do you traffic, Ethan? We want name, Ethan. Real names. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say he trafficked anyone. The girls that uh, work for him. Well, I think he's a sex trafficker, but I don't want to get caught in this argument. I don't care about it. You said it. You said he did. So who did he do it? Do it to? Who? We need some names. We need some names, bro. Coconuts. I don't. Uh, okay, so 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 he didn't sex traffic anyone. I I don't care about that point. He didn't sex traffic. But I'm saying the girl. Good boy. Taking it back. Okay, you guys got me. So um, the, but the girls who live there don't. They're not even Romanian, and also. My, about my employees, they make 100% of what I tell them They're I making, pay them. Yeah. You understand that, right? I say, I say, Dan, I owe you. I'm going to pay you $1,000. And then at the end of the month, I give him $1,000. Andrew says, I'm going to pay you $1,000. Or Andrew says, <coughs> yeah, I'm going to pay you $1,000, but I ends up giving them $700. That's not honest. But we don't need to get into that. Let's move on. You guys want to move on? Sure, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, to. Give you, I'll give you this, bro. You're, you're a comedian. You're funny. I'll give you that. Thank you. He's got I think interview. you're nice. Walter, I do think you're nice. I think you have a kind heart. I think you just got... I, I swear to God, I feel like you just got like in with the, with the wrong people. Like you, you have a sweet heart, Walter. You don't have to, be, to live this life. Bro, this is fire and ice, bro. Like I'm chill cool. He's fiery hot. It works, bro. It works. You know? Fire and ice. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Um, the Tate Brothers uh, Bucharest compound was initially raided by American 
women and a mold of in I don't, You know what? I didn't want to get into this. It's fine. All right, so let's move on. Uh, to, are, you guys have spoke about this issue a lot about rape culture. Is rape culture a myth? Grape. Grape, sorry. Grape culture. Uh, and we we're not talking about too. wineries, right, fellas? We did a Definitely full podcast not. on this. Um, all the studies are there and everything else like that, but yeah. So do you, if somebody's actually graped, you, that's something you take seriously? Of course. They're yeah. one of the most heinous crimes. I, I genuinely think I, um, that do that should get, be put to death. Yep. It's one of the worst really? things you can do. Yeah. So, so you, think rape, you think rape is one of the worst crimes someone could do? It's not funny. It's not interesting. It's like just death oh, no. sentence. No. I, I think guys that, that do that to women need to be dealt with in a certain manner, and that's unacceptable behavior. So here's a guest on your show named uh, Charleston White. Let's listen to this uh, anecdote. Pro White? Oh uh, nah. nah. Uh, okay. Uh, well, we we uh we used to run trains on white girls. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, no. uh, She's got a Robin Hood. Uh, uh, we used to do it uh, with that permission. So it's not like she came over and said, "Hey, I want to sleep with all you guys." Yeah. We said, "Hey, man, that white girl like you." get over here and then we uh what? put oh yeah shit. yeah 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 we just come in with dicks out oh shit yeah Yo. yeah yeah yeah, oh. yeah she, we might have to go on twitch yeah 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 twitch so um do you think that what your friend um charleston should be put to death so wait hold on who's friend oh, okay no. whatever your guest yeah you, you guys are pretty friendly with them no, we're not. You were la I mean, you were laughing. You you seem to be taking that, uh, having a, a laugh about it. Do you know why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Myron's life just flashed before his eyes as soon as he heard. As soon as he heard Walter say this, he's like, "Oh shit! Oh no!" And a, a laugh about it. Do you know why? Why? No, do, do you know why? Go ahead, please. I'm listening. Because we cannot believe he said that on camera. <laughs> so this, I can't be serious. Also, the other thing, too. It's like, whew, okay. Ooh, um, Ethan, did you see that full interview, Ethan, out of curiosity? Probably didn't. I've seen, I've seen bits of it. No, I haven't watched the whole thing. You don't watch the full interview. Okay. Out of context. So, uh, fantastic. <laughs> Once again, you like to do the out of context thing, but it's okay. Let me aware Go ahead. You. What is the context that makes any of that justified? Hey, just explain. You know? Like the next line was like, "That was what I said uh, when I was in this play in high school." By the way, obviously, you know, it was a crazy play. But like, what, what is the, what what is the possible context? Like, of context. So uh, fantastic. Once again, you like to do the out of context thing, but it's okay. Let me aware. Go you. ahead. Just explain. During you don't have to do that. Interview that. during the course of that interview, he went through his life story and how he changed his life and turned it around from a life of crime, robbing people, being involved in a murder, <laughs> doing that type of thing when he was young. He talked about all that in the beginning and how he turned his life around and how he advocates for the youth now to not be involved in a life of crime. So okay, but then maybe we shouldn't be automatically sentencing all these people to death then. If he, this guy like turned his life around and he's some huge success story, right? Seems to be a lot different, a lot, a lot different flavor uh, than, than when it was asked earlier, what would we do with people that rape? Instant death sentence. And now it's like a lifetime movie, I guess. So what that clip that you took right there. You said rapists should be put to death. Yeah. They should be. Well, he just said he gang raped. And also, keep in mind that he was quoting a song from Two Life Crew. So, I feel like I've seen videos of him outside of this particular podcast literally talking about the gang rape thing. I think he even said he didn't regret it. Yeah, it might have even been about Asian women, maybe. I, th I thought he said the same about white women, too, but. So, oh, so it didn't happen. It, well, of course, he's sensationalizing it by quoting the music thing, but I'm telling you that he was explaining his life of crime prior, right, during the course of that podcast. So you're taking that one clip. So of we're John forgiving Sir, him? You guys the rape. No, we didn't. What, what I'm telling you is that we were listening to a life story that he was talking about and how he changed his life around. So obviously he did some <laughs> shitty things when he was younger and he turned his life around. Oh, no. So if you are a rapist, then you can basically um recover and be a guest uh a celebrated guest on the fresh and fit podcast well he was a child also when he did that he was a child a song that he was quoting again again so you guys give him no, a lot of grace he was quoting a song number one <laughs> number two he was a kid when that happened again this is why it's important how old to was he podcast before you go what do you mean he was a kid he was in his teenage years okay like 18 
No, below that. 17? I don't remember the exact age, but I know he was a teenager. Okay, well, I mean, well, clearly there's a disparity there of uh, meaning. But I'll say this, since you guys seem to believe that he's goofing around, or not goofing, but you guys think he's uh, exaggerating, that, but, but let, me, let me just tell you a little bit something about your friend Charleston White. He's you guys, you guys know boy. most of this, but the audience. Yeah, but I'm saying this for the audience. In 1991, he was sent to jail for murdering a man who tried to shop, stop him from shoplifting. And yep. to, but but now we're 2019. This was five years ago. He was arrested for unlawful carrying a weapon. 2019, he was arrested for assault with a deadly, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. In 2022, two years ago, he was arrested for DUI, unlicensed carry of weapon, possession of marijuana. I mean, whatever, 420 blaze. Uh, blaze it. 2023, last year, stopped by FBI over kidnapping allegations. And again in 2023, he was arrested for animal cruelty and aggravated assault with deadly weapon charges. This is a very serious criminal uh, who's definitely uh, admittedly done rape. And y'all really are interested. You're interested in that. Not our what? friend, bro. Does this have to do with us? <laughs> it's a video of you in it, Walter. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, I mean bro, let's rub those coconuts together, man. What do you mean what does it have to do with you? It's a video with you in it. Use your brain, my nigga. We're not friends. We just did a podcast. Yeah, we did a podcast, and we're not friends with him. And again, like I said before, the clip that you're referring to, he was describing his life story of what he had done. I hate Asians. I'm a hate for a. I hate Asians. I like we hate gays. I don't give a fuck about the Asian hate bill. I hate. A Apparently, this guy does a lot of crazy shit on his Instagram lives. This guy is like insane. Asian. I hate Johnny Dane. I don't eat Chinese food. Only time I ever wanted some Chinese pussy was at a bathhouse fucking them Chinese sex slaves. I wouldn't die. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Chinese bitches can't suck dick good. Yeah, I hate Chinese people. Shit, I don't give a fuck about China, man. I hate Chinese people, nigga. I think Chinese stores should be robbed. I think Chinese women should be raped. Brutally. By big dick, well hung black men that hate Chinese women. Fuck China Mac. I think Chinese babies should be raped, nigga, and killed and used as alligator bait. I think Chinese babies should be killed and sodomized and used as alligator bait. Fuck China Mac, nigga. I hate Asians. I'm a hate for a. I hate. He's a little unhinged. Unprior. He actually okay. mentioned America. Got he it. mentioned it as well. So again, that was him telling his life story, man. Okay. And so, he was re using a two live crew song to describe it. So put grapists to death unless they're cool and want to come on our show. That's not what I said at all. Like I said, you before, said put grapists to death. You said a minor, that verbatim during this Obviously, interview. Minors, minors have a different legal system than adults do. So he was a minor when he did it. Yeah, you didn't mention that. Yeah, Ethan, I just what? mentioned he, was a minor. he didn't minor. mention the minor thing. What? What, Walter? He was a minor when Ethan, he did you, that. Also, you're a podcaster, right? So you know guests come on your show all the time. What about your bad guests? I can name a few. Yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't a combative interview. You guys, you know what I mean? Like you guys were laughing and having a good time and being like, oh shit. Well, as podcasters, Ethan, we let our guests talk. So whatever <laughs> they want to say, they can say because it's their podcast. Now, granted, you yourself are a podcaster too. And your guests are very, very, very well endowed as well. Actually, bro, your guests are really well out there, like Liver King. Scammer. Mm -hmm. Isn't that one of your friends too? Actually, <laughs> no. Yeah, if I'm correct, you your follow friend him. Is That's your real friend. And he scammed how many people? Millions? Yeah. Wait, I, no, isn't that your friend? Damn, that's your friend, buddy. Coco. He's a that's fucked up, bro. Coco, on, you gotta chill. You gotta hit that island breeze, man. You're getting emotional. I know, bro. I love it. It's chill. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, I mean, if you're going to use that <laughs> angle of like, you brought this guy on your podcast, that's my friend, he's not even our friend, bro. No, it wasn't that you. OK, you know what? I misspoke no, when I said he would. I'm telling even. you, that, but we got to have things. Like All right, go ahead and, and do your thing. You that's guys right, are getting yeah. emotional, though. I have to say. No, no, we're not getting emotions emotional. are high. To you. We need we're to take a breath. I'm just describing to you that he was he was describing his life story, which involved criminal and nefarious acts. OK. By the and, way, Liver King was exposed after he came on our show. Oh, well, maybe you should have done your research. 
Maybe. What? With a fucking crystal ball, Walter? <laughs> oh, well, guess we need a crystal ball. We didn't know. He, you said you didn't know he did these crimes when he was on your show? It's in your head, Ethan. Yeah, right? he's literally. Oh my God. Yeah, do you understand how future and past are different? Ball, Ethan. I guess we both need a crystal ball. <laughs> Walter, do you understand the difference between future and past? Are you aware of temporal changes? Well, you some things in the future. We're talking about fucking wrong with animals and getting caught with a gun and shit. This is after the fact. How are we supposed to know? That. Well, Can no, I'm talking about the rape. I'm, 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 I'm okay. The reason, you, Ethan. the reason I brought up his rap sheet is not to say you guys knew about it, it's to show you guys that he is a serious criminal. He was and he still is. So to say that he's embellishing it, I think, is giving him a lot of. Uh, is giving him a lot of grace when he's admittedly just a, a rapist. And he, he recounts the story with a lot of. Uh, joy, it seems like. Uh, and, and, was your girlfriend? Let one? me watch this one more uh, time, nah, and, then, nah. and then we can move on. Uh, okay. Uh, well, we we uh, watched the whole podcast. You wouldn't you have had well? to come yeah. in this discussion with us on this thing and look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. Did you not want to? Would you? I'm curious about your guys' reaction. Let me see this. Trains on white girls. Oh, uh, <laughs> choo choo. I mean, he's uh, smiling. He's got a Robin Hood. Oh, you guys oh, laugh. Choo choo. Choo choo. Yeah, running trains on girls, okay. And then you went choo choo. Yep, because that's considered consensual sex most of the time when you run a train on a girl. Okay, let's see how this develops. Do it uh, with that permission. So it's not <laughs> like she came over with it. No, no, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, I want to sleep. What? Oh, full screen it, my bad. Let me do that. Sleep with all you guys. Yeah. We say, hey, man, that white girl like you. Get over here, and then we uh put oh yeah, shit yeah 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 we just come in with dicks out oh shit yeah Yo. yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah she now if somebody's committing you with the worst crime that's ever been the worst thing someone could do do you I mean I understand that you guys are shocked that he said it but you know what I'm saying like bro probably. I don't know what you do here but bro yeah hold hold the L yeah you're, you're L. really you're really <laughs> do it here bro really trying to grasp at anything here I see what you're like again. He's telling his life story. All right. We're listening. Again, he says, we come out with our dicks out. And we're like, what the fuck? So it's like that. Like, I think anybody would be like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell? So how much longer How much longer did, how much longer did this interview go this after that revelation that he mass raped? He's a mass rapist. How much longer did the combo go? Did you guys kick him out or anything? I don't recall how much longer it was. Well, actually, Ethan, if you saw, we're not friends at all. And actually, after the show, we had some beef. Oh, if for real? Saw, What'd you guys yeah, beef not, about? Everything. We don't, yeah, we just don't everything. Get along. Right. Yeah, bro. So, I mean, this so is another. You were saying that we're his friend, bro? Come on. Man. I take man. that. You know what? I misspoke. I don't know if you guys are friends. That's fine. It's the angle you try to approach it on. He does that a lot, though. I mean, he, must, he must speak a lot, honestly. Well, don't I you? mean, I, I'm willing. If I say that you guys are friends, and, honest, and, I'm, and I'm wrong, I'll admit it. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if you guys were friends. I don't think that detail is important. Okay, so so okay. Um we didn't mm -hmm. know. We didn't know. It's fine. Okay. There you go. And we didn't know that he was gonna hey, say that shit. You, we didn't have to you, guys, you guys did. <laughs> All right. Alright. So um thank you guys. Moving on. Um think, Ethan, can I ask you a question, bro? Uh oh. Hey, go ahead. I think, honestly speaking, bro, you're a great person at heart. Well, thanks. That makes two of us. Things can happen where we misspeak on what we say. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, me and I were coming up in the YouTube streets, Rumble streets, you know, trying to make a name for ourselves. And somebody made an accusation against my friend Myron here. Some, you know, Listerine was misplaced and uh, not used correctly. But all of a sudden... You and your team came to the defense of this person, allegations, and surprisingly, you said that we were rapists. And I was like, didn't no. say that. That's actually a that's a flat out lie. What I don't know why that? you need to lie about that. You insinuated did not. Nope. That it was sexual assault. I've got all the assault. clips. You guys want to go over it? Oh, you, you, you insinuated that it was sexual assault. Is what? Well, look, baby. You, that's <laughs> true. That's true. And I believe it was. By the way, and we can go over that. I do believe you did sexually assault her, Myron, and we can go over that. She didn't even want to say that. Yeah, wow. I know. That's and I I know exactly. So that's why I'll say it. I'll say it for her. You'll Jesus. Say it for her. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs>
Coconuts, you misspeak a lot. You you think rape is the same as... Hold on, on. Ethan. If this was you, bro, and someone accused you of this, you know what I say? I need all the evidence before I say Ethan did this. Because as a man, what we go through, bro, is terrible. Women lie all the time and say, oh, he did this and that. Which normally could not be true. And we believe it because she said it. Versus, what does Ethan say? You know what? I'll give Ethan that benefit of doubt. Unfortunately, you didn't go sad. You, you say, you know what? Fuck these niggas. They're grippers. Yeah. And, and also, I would never and, use the N word, Walter. How dare you? Or, well, not today. Anyway. And, then, and then we did our podcast, right? And we, we debunked it. We showed the text message. We showed everything. Yeah. And um, oh, so let's and, look at the clips then. Instead of typing, uh, talking hypothetically, let's just let's just dig into it. Clearly, this is this is something of a point of contention. So here, I mean, I don't really care about it. I, I'm I'm cool with de- debating the other stuff. But if you want to go, well, Walter down, brought it up. He seems to care about why. it. We just want to know why. I mean, I think the well, I think I, the, because I think Myron clear. sexually assaulted her. How? Well, let's we, get into it. Y'all want to talk about it or not? Yeah, of course. All right, so here's so let's let's cool let's start and by watching her recount the, the story. Thing. Okay, let's start here, and let's just you know what I mean. Let's just be concrete about it. We don't need to speak hypothetically. Um, here is her retelling the story. And um, I'm like, about trying to, like, you know, again, like subscribers, because <laughs> you guys lost ten thousand subscribers after this. You guys know that, right? Like after we did our episode, I'm warning you, Ethan. Like. You did your episode on this, then we did our retaliation episode showing yep. the evidence. You think you affected our sub count? That's crazy. Oh, I got oh, the numbers. You got the numbers, buddy. You guys lost 10,000 that day. We can show it right now yeah. okay. on Social Blade. We, I, I don't know if you know this, buddy, but we lose 10,000 every month. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I don't know. Hey, bro, I lose 10,000 every month, sucker. Look, that well, shit's like. That- Do you think he assaulted her based on the story that I heard in every, all the text messages? No, it sounds like there's some. It just sounds like, I don't know. It sounds like she was like looking to play games or do some dumb shit and then like nothing happened and then she wanted to talk to some people. And I honestly, God, I'm not even sure if the girl herself, her going public was even that bad. It was kind of bad. It was kind of dumb. But Ethan definitely wanted it to be way more than it actually was. Uh, and he definitely hyped the fuck out of it and he shouldn't have. That's we just commonplace, right man. Y'all take credit for that. But anyway, you let's talk about, can we talk about the actual right? issue instead of getting so emotional all the time? Oh, I'm just showing you the numbers. Who's emotional, bro? I'm, I'm just warning you. you, you want I just, to Walter, when I'm trying, I'm just trying to have a straight conversation. You guys start screaming and hollering about sub counts and stuff. It's very emotional. Screaming. <laughs> do you guys, do you want to watch this clip? Let's go for it, man. All right. Oh, you just have cues. Like, I want to leave. I don't want to be here. And he's like, oh, you can sit on the bed. So I sit on the bed and I'm sitting at the edge of the bed, you know, like the memes, how they say how girls like even this, like even this, even her telling the story sounds so dumb. Like, oh, you can chill on the bed. So then I went and I sat on the bed. It's like, bro, get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. Sit on the bed. So I sit on the bed and I'm sitting at the edge of the bed, you know, like the memes, how they say how girls are. And um, I'm sitting at this edge of the bed. He's like, oh, you know, you can come up a little bit more. So now I come up and I leave a nice gap between the both of us where it's like very obvious, like I don't like you, that I'm leaving a gap between us. And I'm on my phone. He's on his phone. And I remember, again, like I, was, I like that, like, again, even her telling, it's very obvious that I don't like this person. I left a gap between us as I sat in their bed alone in their apartment at night. Like, it, like so cringe. <laughs> Speaking about my views, once again, he just jumps on top of me and starts making out with me, wow. and like, like, like trying to kiss me and stuff. And so I'm like, I have my hands like on him where it's like, I don't want him like laying on me like intimately. So I'm just holding my hands up and I'm like, no, 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 no. Mind you, this was about like max a minute long. And I was wearing like this shirt and it's like a very loose shirt, whatever. And he basically lifts up the shirt and made a comment. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm over this. Like, and Wait, I sent he lifted him up out. your shirt. So it sounds like he, he said something she didn't like about her boobs. I don't know what. I don't remember if this got leaked or not. And then she got asked mad and decided to cancel this whole hookup or whatever the fuck. I think uh, so it's, it's, this whole story was so stupid. And kind of looked at underneath it and commented. Yeah. Yeah, my chest. Because I have, I have piercings. You, you, I'm yeah. sorry, you, you said what? No, I said I have piercing, so he made a comment on it. Oh, okay. And it was very Did, creepy. It was so very weird. I, 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 I don't want to... Uh, <laughs> this... Destiny, understandable from both sides, no? No. No, there was no one. I don't know why the fuck she would ever tell this story publicly. And she's lying about, like, her setup on all this, too. Like, she, ex- she's explicitly, like, clout sharking and farming and fucking with these guys. Like, that's revealed in all the text messages that get released. Where she's like, oh, yeah, like, I'm gonna go hang out with these dudes and just to, like, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, fuck, it's retarded. It's cringe. This whole thing is cringe. This is a bad. This is very bad. 
this is a very disturbing yeah. uh, story, actually. Yeah, it's pretty. It's interesting, but at that point, I think like, he may you know, have assaulted you. I mean, at this point, I. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to say that, but like again, like. Mm, I don't want to say that. So, so, and again, that's why I. First of all, I don't think it's fair how you guys dogpiled on her because she never even said it was assault. I did. So let's talk about me. Because, um, Ethan, the reason why she said it wasn't assault is because um, you're leaving out the part where she came over to my place. She left where she was at to come to my place. She went and hung out with me. We went and got food prior to this. Then we were in my bed. She came back to my place, by the way, after this. Matter of fact, Fresh, didn't she ask you to give you a, give her a ride to my spot? That is correct. Oh. And oh, all yeah. of those things entitle oh. you to grab her fucking top and expose. Oh, my God. Expose her breasts? What? Um, what? That's what she said you did. Dude, Max, a minute long. And I was... You were kissing. We're Say. making out. I, I, I don't know if you're in the game, Ethan. I know you're married and you haven't been, you know, single for a while, but um, it's called escalation. It's called women showing she, you signs. She said and, that and you know, attempted to kiss her and she pushed you off. That, bro. That's that's not true, bro. Because I told her to go get Listerine, and she went ahead and did it. Okay, that's where well, mouthwash show came from. Well, first <laughs> of all, let me say this. Let me. Then say you're not gonna win this. <laughs> you weren't there. Here's all a, right. Well, uh, here's the other thing too. You're I getting excited. To I'd like to make my point, but you can go ahead and finish. No, no, no. The, here's the other thing too. At the beginning of that clip that you like to play, because you like to play clips and not the full thing, I said, "Oh, come up." And what does she do? She gets off the edge of the bed and comes closer to me. I mean, I think that's a sign, right? Well, that's Ethan, what you said. Bed. That's that's what she's, you said happened. She just said it in the thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no, you're right. She she said she said he asked me to come closer and I came a bit closer. But that that makes sense to me. Uh, if you know, let me. I think it's reasonable that I that I heard her say he jumped on me. Yeah, let me speak, please. Thank you. Please. I think it's reasonable for me to conclude. She says he jumped on me. And he lifted my top to expose my breasts and commented on my breasts that that is reasonable for me to conclude that that is uh, sexual assault. And so and then when I really doubled down on it is um, when you responded to it. So here, let me watch a clip of you responding to it, Myron. Wearing like this shirt and it's like a very loose shirt, whatever. And he basically lifts up the shirt and made a comment. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm over this. Like, and Wait, I said he lifted to him, up your shirt and kind of... That, my friends, is what she's mad about. Actually, you know what? Hold on, let's, let's, let's play just a little bit longer and I'll expose it for y'all. I've looked at underneath it and commented. Yeah. Yeah, my chest. Because I have, I have piercings. You, you, I'm yeah. sorry, you, you say what? What is she saying here? Because I have what? I have, I Ugh. have piercings. Oh, I have piercings. You, you, I'm yeah. sorry, you, you say what? No, I said I have piercings, so he made a comment on it. Oh, okay. And it was very Did, creepy. It was so very I, 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 I don't want to... Ha <laughs> ha! No, it was not creepy. She's mad because I basically made a joke about her titties being lopsided. Whatever! <laughs> it is what the fuck it is, man! <laughs> All right? <laughs> There you go. Ta-da! Yeah, so you just described sexual assault. Oh, my God. You just God. admit to it, right? I mean, you said, I, no, did, I, did, I did lift her top, and I commented on her breasts. Yep, and it, it was 100% consensual, Ethan, because... Well, she, she, not according to her. Oh, see, here's the thing. I don't know... You, I, I'm Again, once again, it's fantastic that you pulled up a clip from that podcast. I don't know if you saw that number 59 there, but during the course of the podcast, that was... 59 times she lied to you, and I showed proof that she yeah, you lied. you were very generous with those cap counters. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I, I was, I was no. very thorough about it because I showed full text messages. It was a six-hour well, long Anyway, podcast. I'm talking about th 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 this is the point that matters, right? The assault part. How wild is it that they view lot sided boobs as some weird, rare disease? Uh, I don't know if they do or not, but most girls, almost every girl's boobs are a little lopsided. It's, but if you see a lot of fake boobs, you're not going to realize that. Or when girls take nudes from angles, it's because they're hiding that. But, like, typically, that's pretty... That's Super common, yeah. All right, all right. Let's focus the, on yeah. that. Okay. So you you basically are confessing now and then that you lifted her top and commented on her breasts. She let me do it, Ethan. What was she? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. Spoken like a real fed, bro. She <laughs> let you do it. And, and, yes. and what? In what way did she end it? Yes. Did she say you can lift my breasts? You can lift my top and make fun of my breasts? Ethan. No, 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 <laughs> Walter. Let Myron talk. Don't, don't help. Hold on, hold on. Uh, it, uh, Ethan, um, let me ask you a question. Like she you, let you do it. What does that mean? It, like when you and your woman are about to make love, do you sit there and go, 
kill mom before I lift your shirt Are up? Are you talking about my wife that I've been no, married to for 12 like, years? Whether it's your wife or a woman that you've hooked up with in the past. She said Let she was pushing here. you off, dude. No, that's not true. That, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not true. Okay, it's but that, if that's what she said, then you agree it's reasonable for me to conclude that their essay did happen. That's not true, bro. But that's even how would you argue this if you were Myron? The girl was giving him positive signals the entire time from both stories, it seems. Um, yeah, and then at some point she didn't want to anymore, and then it stopped, and then they stopped, and that's it. As it stands right now, it feels like the only way people think you can abort a sexual instance where it's not rape or sexual assault is if a guy says, can I do this? And then the girl says, no. That's the only possible way. There's no other way. Everything else is sexual assault if somebody decides they don't want to go any further in some way. It's just cringe. But you know what? You know what's interesting to me is that you're, conf that entire talk. But that you're confessing. Is, you're, you're confessing right now. You understand that, right? No, 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 no. Ethan. Am I crazy? This no, man just confessed. No, because you're trying to listen. You're trying to hear something that didn't happen. I'm telling you, she literally, right? Because once again, you're playing clips and you're not playing the full thing. This girl asked Fresh to come to my house. He had to drive her from Miami Beach all the way to my spot, yeah. which is about 30 minutes away. Okay, FYI. She went out and hung out with me. We went to go get some food. Then she came back to my place. Then I told her, we kissed. Why do you think I told her to go get some fucking Listerine? Because I didn't like the way Bro, her you, As much as you want to go on about what happened, the lead up does not indicate Ethan, consent Ethan, in any way. Ethan. Lead up Ethan, is not consent, brother. Yes. And then I say, yo, I don't like the way her breast smells. You need to go get some Listerine. She goes and gets the Listerine and comes back. Okay? <laughs> Then we're in bed kissing or whatever. And she says, oh, he jumped on me. That's not true. That's why she was reluctant to say, oh, I don't want to say sexual assault because she knows everything was consensual. She, everything that led up to it was consensual, bro. Now you're trying to make something of, of something that isn't true. Just okay. To, okay. Just to review, <laughs> you say there was lots of leading up to this. Okay. Yes. That showed that she was uh, consenting. Then yes. you guys go to your bedroom and where, and where um, you kiss her. She says that you jumped on her. You disagree. But then the part that's important, in my opinion, which is the essay part, you say, you, you're, you say then and now that you lifted her top and commented on her breasts. And you don't deny that. Don't forget. She Walter, let him, let him answer. I just, I, I worded, I took my time wording that. Well, oh, Myron. Admit, she was wearing my she, clothes. She, she was wearing my she, clothes his, too. His clothes. She was wearing my clothes. Tell dude. me why a girl would change your clothes. Uh, and hold on. Uh, just, just, so you, again, just to, just to Ooh. say I understand it. You, li you, let, you lifted her top and commented on her breasts, right? You don't deny that. Yeah. Okay. Myron's shirt. I lifted my, actually, I lifted my shirt. So if a girl's wearing your shirt, you can assault her. Jesus Christ. No one said that. No, there was no assault. There was no assault. I'm trying to show how oh, ridiculous okay. your argument is trying to say that. Because she, oh, you, you told her to do Listerine? Her shirt. It's like, bro, it's my shirt. She changed into my clothes. She drank my <sighs> Listerine. She was in my bed at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. She asked my friend to drive her to my spot 30 minutes. The, let, let me ask you this. Was she on the foot? Of, she said she was on the foot of the bed. And then by your own video that you just showed. She I said, said oh, she God, scooted God, up a little bit. She came closer. Okay. She came closer. That doesn't sound like a... If I'm trying to hook up with a girl, if she's like sitting uh, at the edge of the bed and just inches up a little f bit, that sounds like someone who doesn't want to kiss me. Bit. She got close to me, bro. We were making out. Why do you think I told her to get Listerine? Ethan. Like, come on, man. Ethan. Come on, Ethan. We're all men here, right? Before you married your wife, did you smash? Maybe? Was it twice? Do, do I do premarital sex? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And when this happened, just take us back in time here. Not to get into your business, but I was curious, bro. You were in the bed at some point with her, right? And did you magically just like say, hey, babe, can I see your tits? Or did you say, oh, shit, it's, going, it's happening right now, hard as fuck. <laughs> Lift it up and then go for it. What happened? Um, not that. Not, I did not just lift her top up and go for it. No. I said, I need enthusiastic consent. <laughs> yeah. Well, said well, to me lifting your shirt well, up this much. That would mean you consent to be lifting your shirt up. But it doesn't this it doesn't sound like you guys were laying in bed making out. It sounds like you were making awkward advances on her. Dude, she told you in the own th in your own thing that I told her to get this three, correct? <laughs> Why would I tell her to get this three? <laughs> you can you, you can only smell someone's breath if you're making out with them. You probably Oh my god, this is so cringe. How much longer is this? Bro, what what? No. Get Listerine. 
<laughs> you, can, you can only smell someone's breath if you're making out with them. You probably did it just because you're being a dick and you felt rejected because she didn't want you. Oh, but she went and got the Listerine, right? Because she was rejected. Ethan, remember Amber Heard? Yeah. Yo, imagine if Johnny Depp didn't take her to court and fight for his life so, and his so career. So Amber Heard, Amber Heard lost the defamation case, therefore women be lying? No, no, no. They do be lying. It was proven. They do be lying. They lying. do be lying, bro. And how many other men have been in the same position where they've been lied about by women? Well, here's the thing. She didn't even <laughs> say it. He said it for her. But again, again, this this is why, I, yeah, right, of course. And again, I think it's fucked up that y'all went after her because she didn't say that, first of all. I thought that was fucked up. She has every right to, to um, describe a bad date that she had with you, which is what she was doing. And then I drew the conclusion based on what you said then and now that you lifted her top and commented on her lopsided breasts, as you said, um, uh, which is the definition. That is actually quite literally sexual assault. No, it is not. It's not consensual. Criticism isn't illegal, bro. And they're even, lopsided. This is funny because if this was you, this position here, you know the big difference between us and you. We, we say, defend you, know what? you. We need all that. We need evidence. To you want to say no crazy shit like that? that. You are. Essay somebody. Well, I mean, okay. I'm not. I'm, I'm not taking this to the police. She gave her story, and I listened. No, no. You, you assume. You, assu you assume Actually, her defamation would be considered it's not defamation. Said, it's literally hey, not defamation, bro. That him, that it's a first-hand account. It's a first. It's just a girl saying this is what oh, happened to me. How's that defamation? Oh, you said this was sexual assault. She said no, it's not that. What, and then you said. tried to make it that. That's crazy, bro. That's like let's say well, that you. I, I think I was, that you basically bro, admit you that you did sexually assault her. That's how bad you fucked up on that one. Yeah, even had, our enemies came to our you defense. Had friends, uh, Apple and Peach, come to our defense. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is definitely my opinion that you sexually assaulted her. That hasn't changed. Well, sir, I would say the general consensus is that you're wrong, and you guys lost 10,000 subscribers that day after we did our episode. Bro, I lose 10,000 every day, bro. It's like a fucking game. Well, Don't okay. you know? Yeah, sure, you lose every day ten thousand. I mean, we could not look. every you day, every month, every single day. Come on, man. Can you, you guys? Got, nice since you guys love stuff. Social Blade so much, why did y'all erase a hundred and twenty million okay. videos right before coming on our show? We didn't. We didn't. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> quite literally, look at Social Blade. You guys are. You guys removed like a ton of content from your channel. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're controversial, bro. Yeah, we yeah. have our shit is on Rumble. Wait, what? Yeah. Did, what did Plus, you remove? Yeah, we we yeah we we cleaned up our channel, bro. Like we're we, we all of our to. videos on Rumble, man. Yep. You cleaned it up. Yeah, we cleaned up our channel, our our shit that are because we're not politically correct. We've made great changes. Oh. YouTube's gonna so, die. And yeah, why we're, why yesterday of all time? We didn't do it yesterday. Yeah, that's what it says here. Nah, yeah, we did it weeks ago, man. Yep. We did it about two weeks ago now at this point. We're putting all the good stuff. We're Rumble. transparent about that. We said, yo, all of our videos on Rumble, go check it out. All the best parts on Rumble. Yeah, man. Tap into it. I mean, you know about YouTube. Okay, so you guys, you guys are going back and erasing uh, offensive and uh, things that you guys have said we on your channel. Sure That's fair. I've done that too. And everyone's happy. Yeah, yeah bro. Does it, bro. All creators do it, bro. Yeah, bro. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. We, we're controversial, man. I mean, I don't know why you're... I mean, that's not the point. You're taking away I from the too. point. No, I am too. No, I am too. You lost 10,000 on that day after making that video. So <sighs> All I think right. Well, well you know what? It, then, then, you know, I'm happy to say bye-bye to, uh, to uh, assault apologists. You know what I mean? Like... Go enjoy Fresh and Fit. But I'll be honest, oh there's zero overlap in our fan base. It's literally and zero. And that's fine. I think that's why we got so many people watching. We got almost 20 k Actually, we got 30,000 plus on our side watching. You guys are, you guys usually erase your videos like you erased... Um, there was a video from yesterday you guys uploaded and then erased. Which one was that? No? Huh? Yesterday. No, we only did I one. Mean, we didn't even film yesterday. I mean... Uh, uh, it was a video that was up and then... It was deleted yesterday. Oh, was not. We did the Jake Shields interview, and that's still up. Well, either way, man. Nice try, though. No deletion. It's normal. It's you, yeah. bro. But yeah, I mean, we're not. We're not. <laughs> Come on, we're not bro. running from that. Like, yeah, we delete videos all the time because we're trying to be within the guidelines because our stuff is controversial. Okay. So, so you got to keep. There was a video where normal. you were dressed. You were dressed up in some anti-Semitic outfit. Oh, here we go. Zerka, and you, it was up two days ago, and it was gone yesterday. It's private now. What? It was never up on the YouTube channel ever. That is never. not true. That is not true. You're lying. That is it's lying. Yep. Okay. I've had the timestamp. Oh. Where? Show us. Okay, I'd I love to. You guys I got it. it. I still got the timestamp. Yeah, give me a sec. Well, I've got it all here, too. Well, you guys want to talk? I mean, Myron, is it... 
is the what? timing of going and erasing your anti-Semitism have anything to do with the timing of this conversation? Anti-Semitism? What are you talking about? Anti-Semitism. Uh, oh, are you denying being an anti-Semite? No, I'm not anti-Semite whatsoever. Mm. Are you? Do I hate myself? I wonder. Because I'm an Arab. I'm Wait, Semite. hold on. Hold on. Why do you, want, why why do you wonder that? I'm Arab, so do I hate myself as well? Yeah, I'm curious. Because Arab are... I didn't ask if you're Islamophobic. Uh, you guys want to talk about this? So here. Is this a Hotep talking point or a Nation of Islam talking point? Um, where there are certain people, who, Arabs, who will consider themselves Semitic because everybody that comes from the... Is it the Levant? It's like a Semitic people or something? I don't know. It's a, uh, it's, is it, it might be Nation of Islam talking point. Uh, here, You don't have to be a, a Muslim to be an Arab. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Are you okay? <laughs> you said Islamophobia. Like what? There are Christian Arabs, and there's Jewish right, Arabs. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. So you say, so you say you're not anti-Semitic. So here's the clip that is. This is the one that he erased from the other day. This is yeah. from YouTube. Uh, here it is, and then you can tell me if this is anti-Semitic or not. You're sitting with Nick Fuentes, by the way, a known neo-Nazi. You you agree with that, right? He's a neo-Nazi. Uh, no, I wouldn't agree with you on that. He's a groiper. Wouldn't agree with you on that. He said, he has an alt account that he communicates with you with called Autumn Groiper or something. Like, he literally, he literally is a self-described groiper. Kids love Hitler. Groiper just means Nick Fuentes follower. Groiper doesn't mean Nazi or neo It just means Nick, the Groipers are just Nick Fuentes fans. But. Kids love Hitler. What does that have to do with, like, what's your, what's your point here? You're taking one clip. You're, no, taking, I'm, I'm you're, I'm just you're fantastic at taking sound bites and trying to run with the narrative. You're fantastic <laughs> at doing that. We've bumped you a bunch of times trying to do that. What's your problem with Nick? Right. Okay. He's, uh, he's a great upstanding guy. He's, there's nothing uh, anti-Semitic about him. Let's watch this clip. He's gone. I already okay, told the ADL. Like he's fucking yeah. gone. He's anti-Semites. <laughs> what the? Byron got the call? <laughs> Six million died. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. So, at this Six point, what is, what is this you're dressed up as? And, and what does Six million died refer to? I can't see what you're showing. Oh, really? I can't see it. It's you dressed in a long black beard and a black top hat and a suit. Um, and you're, you're talking, yeah. So, so what is it you're dressed up as here? You know what? I'm really glad that you brought that up, Ethan. You know what I have here? <laughs> Viking hat? Mexican hat? Are you anti, are you comparing wearing up? Oh my God, bro. Okay, bro, we, we can actually talk. Uh, we don't need to see your whole wardrobe. Oh, no. But that's very sassy and zesty no, 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 of you no. to have a... No, 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 because here's the thing, friend. Because I love when you guys do bro, this. Oh, because you're going to go ahead and take one <laughs> clip. Let me just show you the clips, man. You're getting so emotional. No, 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 because, because this is fantastic. I knew you would do this. I knew okay. you would do okay. this. All right. And here's the thing. I make fun of everybody. I got hats for every single race, every single religion. Okay. I'm a, so what Muslim did you? Fun of myself. I have I more. Would you like to see it? Dude, you could show whatever you want. I make fun of everybody, every race. I'm not anti anything. I hate everyone equally. I make <laughs> jokes on everybody, bro. You knew I would pull. You were. You knew I would pull the videos you erased, right? That's fantastic, man. You could pull well, whatever you want. You did erase on, it though. Just you to be realize clear. that we don't hide anything. All the okay. Stuff let's is let's continue. Let's continue. Let's I understand. What your point is, let's continue. So you say, so you're dressed as a Jewish guy and you start saying six million died. What is that about? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, hey, dude, if you want to debate on that, you could go ahead and obviously have that discussion with Nick. Oh, but again, Nick, I thought he was a normal, upstanding dude. No, he's, he's a great He's guy, a Holocaust histor historian. <laughs> yeah, Look, funny, actually, right? Go ahead, yeah, let's finish this clip. It was exactly six million. It was not a hair no. less. <laughs> what about five nine 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 nine? Myron uh, Stein is here. Uh, Anybody need a loan, by the way? High interest rates, but I got I can hook y'all up. Oh, Low interest, man. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, you know what's the most awkward what, part of the say? show? Is that semitic too? That's semitic too? Yeah, yeah. What would you say, bro? But okay, I understand. You make fun of everybody, so we can let this clip go. You know, I think I got a clip of you making anti-Semitic comments about Ben Shapiro, if I'm not mistaken. If we want to go down this road. Do you, do you, is it okay for me to say the N-word? Anti-Semitic comments on, on Ben yeah. Shapiro. Is it okay for me to say the oh. N-word? Uh, Ethan, you disabled our screen sharing. Can you uh, 
delete that or whatever. Because if you want to go down hey, this road, happened? that's cool, bro. Wait, hold we on one sec. What happened, Walter? You just are, are, are you guys having a hard time seeing the video feed? Uh, just to just sorry to pause the debate for a second, but I do want to fix that so you guys can see. I mean, this isn't really even a debate. It's him trying to reach. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to argue with you. I, I'm just wondering if you, if you need me to fix it's something. A I'm trying to, I'm trying to help. Yeah, it's just a technical question. Are, are yeah. you not able to see Ethan That's, anymore? We, we no. can't see Ethan right now. Yeah. You can't see oh, Ethan? Okay, okay um, one second. Also, Let me see if I turn off and on my video. video. We can see Ethan now, but we can't share our screen to show our videos. Um, uh, if you want to send us links, I can post stuff up. That's fine. Oh, if you want the ability to screen share here, I think... I just did that, so theoretically you can screen share it now too, as well. Yeah, but why take it off in the first place? It's kind of weird. Oh, let's show that oh, social blade. Tech? This this is is the tech? Coconut, I, I know, I know. It, everything is a conspiracy, but uh, it just it's off by default. I just it turned it on. All right, the guys. Yeah, so, it was the Matrix, exactly. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's, but, let, let's but, continue. Let's continue, okay. shall I mean, we? Do you, oh, hold on. Do you don't want, wait, you don't want me to show the anti-Semitic clip on. of you talking about Ben Shapiro? Go ahead, but bring it up. Can, a, can I say the N-word? Myron, can I say the N-word? I don't care. You could do whatever you want, bro. Is it appropriate want, for a white person to say the N-word? You're a grown man. You can say whatever you want. What word? Walter, is it appropriate for a white person to say the N-word? No, no. What word is that? I, I'm sorry. Coconut, sorry, my head. What word is that? Why are you I, acting like silly, like you don't know what I'm oh, talking bro, about? Bro, remember, coconuts for brains. What word is that? I can't, can you just tell me real quick? Oh, oh is I'm that listening. what happens when I'm making a point that you know oh, is not easy no, for you to no, answer? No. You go, oh, I can't hear you. I got coconuts for brains. What's that word, Ethan? <laughs> you, you're so smart, bro. What's the word? Just real quick. What's the word? Uh, uh you know what? Play the video. Uh, oh, no, I got I to gotta get the clip. I have what's to hear. that word, uh, Ethan? Come on. You're smart, bro. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'm waiting. Yeah, I mean, look, bro, you can say it if you if want. If you guys want to play videos of me saying the N word, I'm going to. We, we can't show that, but I know that I yeah, have done it, if that's actually, what you're saying. Yeah, you did, and you made a bunch of racial comments, too, saying the N bomb all over the place. I actually. So, then, yeah. I, if you're going to call me a racist, bro, we're both racist together, then, in that case. That's, well, no, not quite. Um, I thought you guys were going to play the Ben Shapiro clip. Yeah, let me get it real quick. Right? Quite a few, but by the way, but I don't, uh, I don't think it matters because I'm a Jewish man talking about another Jewish man. Obviously, different rules apply there. But let uh, me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I mean, all... you understand that. You no, say I the N word all the time, and and obviously that's that's okay for you to do. It's it's not racist if you say it. Then it is racist if I say it. So okay, you, so so you're racist too, then I guess. In those moments, I definitely had moments of of racist behavior for sure. Okay, and so and so you're anti-Semitic. So we're, on we're, we're on the same level then. I guess we're both racist. Let, bro, then. let yeah. me just let me just show you this point. You're obfuscating so hard. Let's just let's just focus. Okay, what do you want to focus? <laughs> okay, so the clip I showed you, you were dressed up as a uh, like a Hasidic Jew talking about the six million died in the Holocaust, but you make fun of everyone, so that's fine. So let yeah. me go to some of the tweets you made. Nick, sure. Nick Fuentes is a nice person. He was a pleasure to have on the show. Said Pearl. Yep. They hate Nick because he criticizes Val problems in american foreign policy and dem boys can you tell me what yeah. dem boys means uh so <clears throat> i mean you, you want to go into this realm <laughs> sure yeah of course i asked you didn't i he has very valid critiques of american foreign policy when it comes to israel <clears throat> <clears throat> so what does dem boys mean <clears throat> whatever you want whatever you want it to mean yeah well you know what it no, means well, what, it, what does it mean when you say it it means What's jewish it mean? people the boys in business, whatever you want to mean. Yeah, it could be whatever you want. Well, no, you said I know what it means. It means Jewish people. Okay. Is that okay. what you want? That, okay. Coconuts, I'm living in a reality where we're all sharing the same. You, you trying to so create this like weird that? situation where we don't, we pretend that we don't know what anything means and we just pretend we have coconuts Edward? in our brains. You said it before. <laughs> Bro, guys, let's just try to focus and do a point so we can actually talk about something. Sure. Um, I, I, uh, so I you mean, keep continue you with the Dem Boys things. Okay. Let's go. Uh, the Bolsheviks killed millions of Russians. Who's going to tell them they were Dem Boys? Yep. Uh, that's a fact. Yeah, that's a f and then you say, this that's one is real fact. interesting. You say the movie Europa is the yep. most based documentary. Yep. Can I read a synopsis of that, of that film? Where are you going to read it from? Wikipedia? On one of the bot forums? Well, tell, well, tell me if you think this is inaccurate. Um, okay. Hold on. I'm uh, grabbing it. Um, here it is. 
So yeah, it's from Wikipedia, but if you have a better place to describe it, yeah, that's Wikipedia. fine. Wikipedia. Bro, Wikipedia. The Wikipedia lies about everything. Hell, they even make you look crazy on there, bro. You're gonna read well, Wikipedia. Well, it's all true. It's all true what they say. I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, I, here, here's the, here's the synopsis of the film, and then correct me where correct it where it's wrong. The film. Yep promotes various anti-Semitic conspiracies claiming that communism was created by Jews with the goal of total world domination and that Jews control the world's money supply and are conspiring to engineer the downfall of white race by encouraging immigration and interracial relationships. It also engages historical revisionism to claim that Jews started World War I and II as part of a plot to establish Israel by provoking the Nazis into acting in self-defense. The film also claims that Jews caused Germany defeat in World War One, which is commonly uh, referred to as the stab in the back myth that Adolf yep. Hitler was fighting against a global Jewish plot. You called that movie uh, based, most based. Yeah. It's very based. It is very based. And so, I mean, is, is it 100% accurate? No. Most documentaries aren't. There's always an so which error. Part, okay, okay. Like, all right. I'll say it's too based. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not. Based, so, but you yeah. guys don't have a problem with the description? I mean, dude, I mean, where'd you read that from? You read that from Wikipedia, bro? Tell me. You've watched the movie. Tell me. I think the reason, um, the reason why this doesn't really work here is because typically the people that Ethan is fighting with are that usually they have some sort of like mainstreamish kind of like sentiment that they're aimed towards or oriented towards. Um, but like these types of gotchas don't really work for fresh and fit. Like what? Like the gotcha he's going for here is like, do you guys support like anti-Semitic Holocaust conspiracy theories or whatever? Like they don't give a f like it's not like their audience isn't going to leave them. They're not getting exposed. It's not like they're hiding any of this. It's not like they're they're being like exposed or revealed on something that was previously like uncovered or something. They are still too cowardly to own it though. Mm, I mean like no, um, I understand what you're saying. When you say too cowardly to own it, I think that if this was like a legitimate debate on their belief. I think that, and they were like, oh, I don't know. Then I said, yeah, well, f you, you're being a coward, sure. But I mean, like in this format, Ethan is attempting to farm them with gotchas. That's the goal, which by the way, I don't think that's necessarily even bad or, you know, I'm not normally loading that. I think you can farm gotchas, I think that's fine. Pressure and fit, probably do it to people. Um, it's okay to farm for gotchas, but if Ethan is trying to farm gotchas here, why would you do it against fresh and fit? Like. Nobody in Fresh and Fit's audience is like, wait a second, what? They're, they've recommended a, a, a documentary that Wikipedia says is anti-Semitic? Like, who the f cares? <clears throat> Destiny, it's getting more public with the information, e.g. I didn't know that they were this anti-Semitic. Oh, maybe. Maybe if people, maybe people didn't know what they do on their show or something, or maybe they don't know any of the least. I guess that's possible, I don't know. But I mean, I feel like for us, or at least for me, like, I mean, yeah, I see, I've seen all this shit, like, me if it's accurate wait you didn't watch it either did you watch it no i did not watch some fringe neo-nazi documentary bro we can't even have a conversation bro is this accurate what dude you guys are such more like is this accurate is this accurate is this accurate we're gonna talk about this man you didn't even watch it come on bro you that they said the sky was green in there and you wouldn't even know is this description accurate we don't know do That's know? why I'm asking you, Walter. Jesus you Christ, know. man. Wikipedia. You, what do you know? What do you know? I'm. How about how about you so watch Walter? You've seen. So come back and hold on. Let me uh, hold on. Let me talk to cocoa butter, or coconuts. Um, Coconut. Co coconuts. Right. Um, you've seen this video, this movie, correct? I've seen everything. Bro, why, why why are we here? Are we doing? A, are we going to talk? Or are we going to be silly? I thought we had a debate going on. I don't know what is this. Have you seen Ethan. this movie? Have you seen this movie, uh, Walter? I haven't seen everything. Okay, was the Ethan? Look, you said it's based. So I'm assuming you, you saw it. The movie, is the, is the description discussion. accurate? Is the description accurate? Bro, to be honest, that's Wikipedia. I don't know what's accurate on there. Like, what, Destiny, what this is not a good look for you. What's not a what? Keep in mind we're on YouTube, not Rumble. Ethan purposely asked questions about the H event to get us canceled. Destiny, love carrying water for fresh and fit. It's crazy. I am. I do carry a lot of water for fresh and fit. My favorite. I read it to you. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? Information entered your brain. It's time to process it. Dude, story I watched when I was a kid. Why can't y'all? Why can't y'all answer? If they can't even answer a simple question, or they can't even answer a simple answer about the documentary. LOL. Destiny loves her. The, well, it's because it, these are. It's like a bait interview. Like. 
so they're both both sides here are playing a game, right? It's not like Ethan is asking these questions in good faith to have a deep dive discussion on these topics. Ethan is fishing for gotchas and they're doing their best to kind of like avoid the gotchas. That's what's being played. It's just back and forth here. That's it, right? Also, I'm pretty sure they're, yeah, I think Fit just said it. They're streaming on YouTube so also. So they're not directly answering some of these on YouTube might even get them banned. So I mean, like that's the point. If it's dude, accurate. Dude won, dude won like a couple months ago. They got to remember shit. Do we need to go one by one here? Um, okay, Ethan, communism Ethan, was created Ethan, by Jews with the goal of world domination. Agree or disagree? Yeah, I don't know. Ethan, if you didn't watch the movie, then we... They literally say that a five-hour Nazi movie is based. How is he not allowed to ask what the fuck, guys? I mean, he, I guess he can, but it's just... Or maybe maybe because I've got such a close relationship where I did with the Red Pill world... That's just, it's not surprising. Like they've talked about this shit and they've supported this shit forever. Like, yeah, no shit. Like <laughs> these guys literally believe, I'm pretty sure if, <laughs> I don't know if they would say it in chat or I'm pretty sure these guys think Jews literally run the world and, and are, I have like the secret cabal that controls like the deep state. Yeah, no shit they believe in some wild fucking uh, Holocaust provision of shit, obviously. I, I just don't know what the, or maybe maybe a lot of you guys or maybe other people didn't. So yeah, maybe not, I don't know. But I like, I was like deep in this world. Yeah, obviously. We can't have a coherent discussion on it. You didn't even watch it, bro. So you're reading Wikipedia thing asking us if it's accurate. I told you at the beginning, not all of it is 100 percent accurate, but mm -hmm. it is accurate about a lot of things. Which parts were inaccurate? Why do you think Fresh and Fit are staying there? It feels like they were expecting a debate instead of the Scotch dance. Um, probably so that they could go for a couple reverse scotches if they could get it, and to see if they can edge out any wins if they feel like Ethan looks bad or gets something wrong. Which I think in a couple of these topics, like bringing up that rape story again was really stupid. Arguing about what a Fed is was really stupid. Um, and then it's just seeing if Ethan can like get a successful bait or not. And which parts? Destiny, they are clearly dodging though. Yeah, no shit they're dodging. That's kind of like what is entailed with being like a far right quasi neo-Nazi figure. I mean, like that's the whole point is you dot, you're not gonna answer a question directly. Like, what do you think is gonna be the answer? Like you guys supported this argument like, yeah. Because we think Jews run the world on YouTube, on our channel, by the way. Jews do run the world. And we don't think the Holocaust was where we think the Holocaust happened, but it was 100,000 Jews that died. Not yeah, well, yeah, no shit. They're not going to answer the fucking questions. But it's not like them not answering the questions. It's like, wait a second. Oh, my God. Like, are these people anti-Semitic in ways we never knew before? It's like, yeah, no shit. They're, like, open about this. It's not, I don't know. It's just, I, I, again, I, if you didn't know about it, if you hadn't heard about this, I guess it could be surprising for you. But I, like I said, I've been in this world for so long. Like, obviously, this is, they're not secret about any of this. You know what I mean? Because I just you read the description. It's, like eight, it's an eight hour long movie. You do realize that, right? Damn. That's a lot. That's a big commitment to being a, a f Jew don't. hater. You invested I'm a lot of time into hating Jews, brother. Sit down for eight hours and watch that. My friend, uh, number one, I'm not a Jew hater whatsoever. Um, okay. Well, we're working on that. We're, we're working on trying to absolve you of that, but we're having a hard time. Business partners are Jews. We work with Jews. We don't have an issue with Jews whatsoever. Right. We, we just love movies. Uh, that, I think the uh, point is that this is for normie audiences. Yeah, that might be true too. Like I said, that for a lot of people that have no idea, then maybe, um, yeah, maybe it's to, for their own audience. Why are you still so cordial with them if you know they are super anti-Semitic yet you go so hard on pro-Palestinian people? Well, if we were to argue about this, I would probably go hard on this topic. I, would, I just don't know if we ever did. I had the episode with Nick Fuentes or whatever. But also, I'm friendly with pro-Palestinian people. What are you talking about? Wait, do you think none of my friends are pro-Palestinian? What are you, we've had so many pro-Palestinian people that come back over and over again to have conversations on this stream. What are you talking about? Critical uh, of other things that might not necessarily... And here's the thing. We're critical of people that aren't even Jewish a lot of the times. Okay, so... so, so also, wait. These guys are probably pro-Palestinian. Wait. How, wait, did I just get mind fucked by that question? Why, why would you be cordial with guys that hate Jews but then you aren't cordial with people that support Palestine, who are Arabs, or at least Myron is. Fresh might be too, I don't actually know. <laughs> Am I getting mind fucked here? <laughs> what? Critical a bunch of things. Just to wrap, what? just, to, just to wrap this up. Uh, on the movie Europa, of which the narrative is basically tons of conspiracy theories about Jewish people, uh, uh, a lot which are echoed by uh, Adolf Hitler and used as cause to kill Jews. You described that documentary. True. One of my employees is a Somali Islamist fucking extremist. <laughs> and the other employee is Karanta. No, I'm just kidding. My other employees like it. What do you mean? Yeah, Jesus Christ. What a weird... As Europa is the most based documentary. 
Yes, and the reason why I called it based, Ethan, is because it covers historical facts that are hidden from American like what classes. Like well, what? Well, watch the documentary and we can have a Why discussion. Why can't you tell me? There's a bunch of tell things. Tell me it, what, Walter. Uh, tell me what, Myron. Get me, keep my interest. We can't have a coherent conversation. Really? You, yeah, you can't have a coherent conversation because you can't fucking talk about it because you know you'll look anti-Semitic as fuck if you even describe one thing it's about. Well, you watch the movie and then we can have a discussion on it. Oh, my God. You guys I'm hate you right so now. much. Because you tried, you tried to reach with the anti-Semitic thing, saying that you were. This is not a reach, my friend. A bunch of things. That was a reach. Then me saying that the movie is based. There's a bunch of other historical facts in there, right? Like how the Federal Reserve came into play, etc. So do you need to learn about the Federal Reserve through an eight-hour neo-Nazi fucking uh, <laughs> propaganda film? What do you mean? You could, there's lots of books about that. It would help. Again, bro. Hi. All right. So any, anyway, you you guys say that it's most Brandy. based, but you refuse to tell me what it's about. Or Dude. if the description's accurate. Dude, once again. I told you, you not still, everything is accurate in the film. What's everything. not accurate? Watch the movie, bro. Walter, <laughs> you are <laughs> silly. You're a silly boy, Walter. Was a You're film. a silly, Obviously goofy not, guy. Be oh, silly together, my friend. That's right. One of us is fucking, we're, we're, you know what I mean? One of us hating Jews and being silly. See, oh, you keep trying to say Hitler. that, that you keep trying to say that we hate Jews. We don't hate Jews. Ethan, do you have any we black just friends? Love, we just love Hitler. Ethan, do you have any black friends? What? Who's, we never wait. said we love Hitler either. Wait, hold You're on. Words in our mouth. You love no, I'm being silly. Ah. I, you didn't say that, but you said, but you did say that. Anyway, okay. go ahead, Walter. Go ahead. No, no, you love Hitler. Ethan. You didn't just say that, did you? You love Hitler? Yes, Damn. Walter. You got me. That's, that's, that's so crazy, big, Walter. Oh my God, bro. You just got me <laughs> so good. A sound bite, like you guys do. Oh my God, you guys. Bro, you got me so good. It's almost like I it's almost like I confessed to watching an eight hour fucking documentary about Jewish uh, conspiracy theories and calling it base. I watch one of my hobbies. I like to watch World War Two films. I like to watch World War One films. I like to watch the in general. I enjoy learning history. I enjoy. OK, learning. I watch the history channel. I one of my favorite YouTube channels is Nutty History. I like to watch that as well. Nutty. Six million so, yeah. Jews died is a myth. That's nutty. How many Jews died in the Holocaust? <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? How many? I mean, the, the number is like six million, right? I mean, it's changed a bunch of times. I mean, you tell us. I don't know your history. You don't know my history? What? Like, what does that mean? How many? I mean, I, I, I answered already. You said so, like. Well, I don't know. Well, I, uh, that knowing the, you want me to give you the precise number of people that died in the Holocaust? Yeah. Do you, know? many, uh, Do you think that's possible? Oh. Okay. So Wait, you, you guys know? bar is really... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> he just stepped into, like, the most obvious holop, like, bro. Oh. When you're arguing with like neo-Nazi propaganda, the goal is never to provide an affirmative position. It's always to constantly, you know, mock and attack the, uh, the, the, the ordinary position, the normative one, not in a moral sense, but the ordinary, the normal position. Um, and usually the Nazi talking point is like, how could you possibly know how many people died in the Holocaust? Do they count all the ashes? Can you account for every missing person? How many bodies were buried? You don't know if there's more. You really think it's right? That's why Fuentes will sometimes say, like, how many died? Six million. Not a not a single, not a number more, not a number less. Not one more, not one less. Six million exactly. That's the joke. So for Ethan to say, how am I how could I possibly know how many people died in the Holocaust? Is like the precise number of people that died in the Holocaust? Yeah. Do you, know? many, uh, Do you think that's possible? Oh. Okay. So wait, you, you know? guys bar is really no. Weird. You want if so if I, I can't give you the exact amount of people that died in the Holocaust, then I don't know what I'm talking about. That's literally like impossible to know. Yeah, we don't Six know. Six million either. people. We don't know well, either. We don't either, either bro. But you, you know have what? an opinion about it, clearly. We don't, we don't know either, bro. Just saying. It's about six million though. I'm I'm comfortable saying that. Okay. Okay. Well, so you don't know exactly. We don't either. We'll take your word for it. Well, I know close enough. It's six million. Okay, All right. Whole other... We'll and, take your word for it, bro. Thank you. And so, how many do you think died in the Holocaust? How many Jewish whatever you, people? Bro, whatever you think, man. What do we think? We think too. So you guys believe six million Jews died in the Holocaust? Whatever you think, brother. 
You guys really like are you guys cannot answer questions. It's pretty incredible. You both are uh, just you're getting we, so emo Do you know you guys are getting so emotional and you close off on me. Emotional? I don't want you to close off on me. Like I want you just to answer the question. You you guys are doing like um you guys close crush down and I just want to know if you how many I know you have an opinion. Why are you afraid to say it? Opinion? It's you, all, you try to you try to Why are you us? afraid to oh, answer the question, man? I wish you guys wouldn't be so what? cowardly with you, your opinions. You did not do your stand, homework for the state, my friend. Stand on you your not, fucking beliefs, you brother. Did not, you did not do your research. Okay, how many Jews died in the Holocaust? Try to say we're anti-Semitic. That was a fail. Try mm -hmm. to say you had a Turkish outfit. Like, I don't have a bunch of other outfits here. That was a fail. Hey, you watched Eight Hour Movie, which I didn't watch at all, but I want to kind of uh, ask you questions about, but I didn't watch. I'm going to read a Wikipedia. Can you explain the Red Pill anti-Semitic shit? I feel like the Red Pill gets nothing by engaging in this. Uh, I think the issue is because the Red Pill grew into such an extreme movement where they've kind of explored all the dating shit. And you only talk about it for so long. You kind of have to branch off into other things. And I feel like the people in that movement are prone more to conspiracy theories than anything else. So there's kind of a natural overlap that's created between the weird, like, anti-Semitic alt-right shit of old and then, like, the kind of the type of people that follow Red Pill shit of new. Um, one issue, though, is I think there were some black audiences that started to get turned off, especially with some of the more racial shit, or at least I saw that a while ago. I don't know how common that is now. I don't know who's left in terms of in these communities, what it looks at. But I think that especially like um, people that fall in this area are probably a little more prone to these types of conspiracies because they play into a lot of the narratives, right? Like Jews control the world, like women control the world, or the man is trying to keep you down, the Jew is trying to keep you down, or like it's just Jews are just like a really convenient scapegoat for people that are looking for that top down blaming of everything getting fucked in your life, basically. It plays into those types of narratives. To be fair, people on the far left do this too. Thankfully, they're a minority of the people, but. Media synopsis and say and that this is true. I told you that. Which you have not refuted at all. You won't even tell me what is in it or what's it about because you know it will make you sound crazy. Why won't you just answer the question, how many Jews died in the Holocaust? Why don't you watch it? How about you watch it, man? And we can have a discussion it, about it. You just told us what it was. So, hey, we'll take your word for it. Yeah, man. By oh, the way. You guys are awesome. By the way, Ethan, you guys are uh, so cowardly. Like, at least if you're gonna believe shit, at least stand on it. You guys are being pussies. Like, you guys are such cowards. I can't. I'm surprised you guys are such cowards. Like, you you'll, I'll answer any questions you guys have, and so far I have. I'm not here like pussy footing around. Like, oh, I, I guess I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Whatever you think. That's what. Fuck, that's like emotional, lame, closed down. Like, you guys are being babies. Answer the questions I ask. Are you? I've answered every question you guys have asked me. Great, us too. Okay, how many you know, Jews died in the Holocaust, right. Walter? Answer, how many Jews died in the Holocaust? How many Jews died in the Holocaust, Walter? Whatever you said, bro. Yeah, whatever That's you not said. an answer. Dude, I don't know. Whatever you said, I believe you. You are more worse than I am, my friend. All right, well, Europa's <laughs> base, let's not forget. Okay, so, so you guys are not anti-Semitic. I think we've pretty thoroughly debunked that claim. <laughs> I think it's pretty safe to say. How, how, how are we anti-Semitic? Break it down for us. Tell us how we're anti-Semitic to make that claim. How, how many Jews died in the Holocaust? How's you we? told us. We're going off you. what you said. Okay. You guys don't want to have a serious conversation about it. Okay. So uh, how are we anti-Semitic now? Uh, all right. Let's, let's move on to... Um, uh, making accusations that can't back it up. No, I, it's been thoroughly proven you guys are anti-Semitic. But like, I'm not, I, there's no point in like running in circles being like, prove it. And then you guys being like, I don't know. Let me ask this, Ethan, you do realize, right? Cause you want to talk about us bringing Nick Fuentes on the show. You do realize like two days later, we brought Dave Rubin on, right? Well, Dave Rubin is one of the most self-hating fucking contradictory no, 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 morons. No, 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 the point I'm trying to make here is that- Did Dave Rubin address what Nick Fuentes- Come on, bro. It's not about that. I'm telling How you. How many Jews died, Nick brother? We brought Nick Fuentes on. Then we brought Dave Rubin on. Is Dave Rubin a Holocaust uh, uh, historian? No, but or he's, he's just a, some random dude. Zionist? He's a Zionist. Okay. And that's fine. But we like to bring people on of different thought processes and different opinions. Okay. So just because we brought Nick on doesn't mean Dave we're Rubin, king of the on. Jews, baby. He I came to clear it. Okay, how, does this get better? Oof. We might finish this tomorrow, okay? Jesus Christ. And then more college stuff. There's like an hour and 10 minutes left of this. We'll see. All right. George video? Yeah, I'll watch it tomorrow. I gotta eat. I'm fucking hungry, okay? Gets much better? Oh, okay. Well, then part two tomorrow, I guess. All right, 
I love you guys. It's been fun. Ripper and a cap channel, pop channel, hop channel, mop channel, down channel, cap channel, app channel, op channel, my doing this. Um, is there anybody we can host? Was the Jordan P Jordan B P and it'd be real? Um We'll see. Next Thursday, possibly. Maybe it'll drop next Thursday. Maybe, but who knows? Okay, I love you guys. It's been fun. Rare random cappuccino, pop chino, hop chino, damn chino, cappuccino, hop chino, I'll be chino, I'll be chino, I'll be chino. Catch you guys next stream right now. Be careful. It's really worth watching the rest of this. We bring people on with different perspectives. Matter of fact, we're going to bring Laura Loomer on next, uh, this week. The history is so bad that you should do a big debunk. Is it worth it? I thought about going through my Finkelstein debate and like writing down every time he dodges a question or whatever. I feel like I don't. I won't do that now because I don't want to rewatch the whole thing. I feel like I should have done that the first time, but then it also would have slowed down the rewatch a lot. I think it would have triggered you guys. I'm not sure. Streaming a lot takes away <laughs> from a lot of other types of content I could do. So. We bring people awesome. on with different perspectives, dude. You're trying to sit here and say that we're anti-Semitic, but we open our platform to Jews all the time. So nice on a different thought process and different opinions, okay? So just because we brought Nick on doesn't mean Dave we're Ruben, king of the on. Jews, baby. He I came to clear it all too. up. We bring people on with different perspectives. Matter of fact, we're going to bring Laura Loomer on uh, this week. So we bring people awesome. on with different perspectives, dude. You're trying to sit here and say that we're anti-Semitic, but we open our platform to Jews all the time. So nice try. Okay, awesome. Yeah. I mean, how doing a podcast with you and you're Jewish. Like, come on, man. Wait, here? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, man. Whatever. We don't need to talk about it because it's a it's a road to nowhere. But no, no, because, because you doing to, this no, show no, no, with no, no, me no, no, is no, proof no, that you're not anti-Semitic. Very good. I think Lycan is so stubborn on Israel Palestine when it comes to accepting country evidence like the Goldstein Report. Should, listen, go ask him in the subreddit. Okay. You, you tried, right? Just, you, you, okay, you fair enough. Debunked. 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 You That's guys so debunked it. Anti-Semitic, and yes. you're getting debunked right now. If you, it's all been debunked. We do a collab with you. Okay. All right. Let's let's move on to the next topic, and it's all been debunked. Go ahead, Walter. You you have a question. So we talk about dating in today's society. You know, men and women. Um, but. In this case, you're married, bro. Good job on that. That is a compliment to you because obviously speaking, getting married nowadays is not easy. Granted, how do you even make your wife happy? How do you maintain a good relationship? I want to hear your opinion on this. How do you maintain a good relationship? Oh, your wife? Uh, it's about maintaining uh, like mutual respect, listening, good communication, and uh, genuine encouragement. I think being caring about the things that they care about and supporting them and treating them like equals, I think, is uh, the paramount uh, qualities in maintaining a good, healthy relationship. That's good. Good yeah. question. Let's say I'm a young, young guy, like 21, getting into the world. How would I get a girlfriend or a wife, you would say? What? <laughs> no, no, I want the opinion, bro, because obviously- I don't know. I don't, what the fuck do you, I don't know. I, I don't care. But hold on. You criticize us about our opinions. But I just want to hear your opinion, bro. I, I don't know. I don't care and I don't know. Oh, so now you don't know. All of a sudden you don't know? How do a 21-year-old supposed to meet a girl? I mean, who, what the fuck are we talking about? So how can you criticize us? Go, okay, how about that? Go into a crowd and talk to a girl. I mean, go to, go, to a, go to a friend's party and talk to a girl. There. Is that it? Do you want me to list every possible way that people can interact, Walter? What is your point? You can meet at a I bar. You can meet at a train station. You can meet at a, a, a restaurant. You can meet at uh, Walter's house. You can meet Walter's mom. She's a great lady right here. You can uh, meet at, uh, actually, I don't know anything about your mom. She might, be, she might be bad, but I doubt it. I think she's very sweet based on what I know about you. You can meet at, at the beach. You can meet at the, uh, at the ice cream parlor. You can meet at the mall. You can meet, at, you can meet in, an air, in an airplane. You can meet I think Ethan should just say that, like, this isn't my area of expertise and just move on. When we were growing up, the answer was you, d you tend to meet people at school and you tend to meet people at work and then you tend to meet people through friends and friend groups. Nowadays, I think almost everything is gravitating towards online. So figure out how to work your, um, your Tinders or your Discords or whatever the fuck, I guess. Meet in a blimp. You can meet in a... Do you, do you want me to keep going on, Walter, or is this enough? You got it, bro. You got it. Okay. That was a good answer. Okay, good. All right. So we talked about... That's, that's, whoa! That's the end of your fucking questioning? What did no, you no, just do? Right, they're just shows. What? Continue, bro. Wait, no, no, don't continue. What was your point? <laughs> no, you criticize us about our talking points, but yet you yourself have no, solu no solution to the problem. So it's almost like oh, because uh, our talking points. Oh, because because I didn't have a canned response to how twenty-one-year-old men are supposed to meet women. 
That's crazy. I mean, it's not about a canned response. I mean, you're hypercritical on how we approach modern dating and how to deal with it. And your response isn't really um, conducive to being successful in the dating marketplace nowadays, which I thought that's what I've the debate was. I should have known that you would try to do some stuff like this, pulling out, you know, oh, talk of Andrew Tate, anti-Semitism, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You have Charleston White, Charleston White what on did you think rapist. this conversation would be about? about? Which I'm actually great and happy because this debate has exposed a lot of criticisms that we've gotten from other creators, so we've been able to debunk it on your platform, which we appreciate. Yes. You, um, you have beaten the anti-Semitism charges, my friend. Let me ask you this. So, uh, uh, talking about, you, let's go you back still to... You can't the, explain how we're anti-Semitic. You're right. I have no possible explanation. 21-year-old um, men, they're out trying to meet women. How do we avoid... How does these young men avoid meeting thoughts? Whatever that is. That's your question? Yes. How do they avoid meeting? When you say thoughts, let me be clear about this. Are we talking about like promiscuous women? I guess that's what it means, right? I mean, that's okay. something like that, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, there's, you just got to look for the warning signs. Right. And there's, there's like a bunch of them. There's many. Can you, can you list some? I mean, there's a bunch, but here's the thing. It's not like, you know, it's a tell, like, oh, if she has these signs, she's definitely a thought. You know, there's always going to be exceptions to the rule, but all you can do is watch behavior over a prolonged period of time, which is why we're big on, you know, betting a girl for at least six months to a year. Right. Um, just watching behavior. But having a lot of guy friends, liking a party, a former drug use, uh, current. Having a lot of guy friends? What? Drug use. Alcoholic. Um, former alcoholic. Um, being involved in certain professions where she has to display sexuality to make money. Strippers, OnlyFans. Promiscuous. Uh, porn stars. Promiscuous. Model girl, um, she, you know, was in a, a sorority that likes to party. She went to party college. Um, she was uh, in the military. You know, she was in uh, job fields that were uh, where she was surrounded by men. Mm. Uh, just a bunch of, and that she okay. didn't have a fuck, right? So, uh, regarding, there's, there's regarding, a million, there's a million things. Okay, regarding showing the body and all this kinds of stuff, coconuts, and I mean this no disrespect to her because I don't know anything about her, but just to, to what you say, is your girlfriend a thought? Uh oh. Who? Your girlfriend. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Your girlfriend? Which one? Which one? <laughs> the one that you're, like, seriously involved with? Daisy? Oh, Daisy? She's cool. Yeah, she's your girlfriend. Is she a thought? Who said that? I'm, I, I'm asking you a question. That's what I'm saying. You don't know, you don't know anything. Bro, you... Well, I'm showing pictures. Can you guys see the feed? She, she's showing... And she's in bikinis. She's... She's surround. She does like fitness stuff, where she's surrounded by. You guys know about the the like uh, pageant business with like the guys in the back and stuff. So she's doing all that. Here's a picture of her ass um, at the gym. Is this Fresh's girlfriend or Fit's girlfriend or just one of the girls are fucking? Or I have no idea. She's wearing really tight yoga pants. Uh, really sure. suggestive. Is she a thought? Is this a problem? She can do whatever she wants to do. Oh, okay. Fresh That's nice. Okay. Well, Ethan, uh, let me. Uh, you might, you might not. Well, here's the thing. He doesn't get it. Oh. Um, Ethan, we see multiple women at the same time. We're, we're not monogamous. Yeah, I don't believe you. You guys both have girlfriends, and you love them, and I think that's special. <laughs> and, I, and I don't know why you guys have to back yourselves. You're research, bro. Ethan, you, you really did a bad job here, man. Research, bro. You don't know that at all. God Myron, damn. I just have to say, don't you think it's a little... Well, go ahead and play... Let me play you this clip, and then... Coconuts, you say that it's totally fine, but here is uh, a clip of you talking about... Well, if you're in a serious committed relationship with a guy, and you have, you know, sexy photos of yourself on the internet, you know, Instagram is just one medium that you can do it. Yeah, it is cheating. She's posting pictures like that? Bro. It's a wrap, man, for you. It's a wrap. So I don't when like you that. Post it's not sexualizing okay. ourselves. Okay. Yeah. You post pictures of yourself so, okay. on the internet that are skinsy clad for the purpose of getting endorsed uh -oh. attention from men. Let the clip finish, please. It is sexualizing yourself. What is the definition post-ad picture? And it's not traditional. It's not the traditional. Okay. Listen, it's not no. the only fans, whatever. No. Even if you're not a hoe. Myron, look, the guys will assume you're a hoe. The titties out on that top left. Scroll up a little bit, Chris. Look at this. This is a haram. Oh, yeah, haram. They are so cute. That's your girlfriend, Myron. You called her a hoe. You called her a hoe, I believe was the terminology. Yeah, and I said, again. And I'm really glad that you brought this up because I knew you were going to bring this up. Thank I knew you were going to bring this up. And then I'm, really, I'm really, see, you're, you're very predictable, my friend. Bro, just talk. You keep posturing. No, 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 because, because we all cook you, man. This is, this is why you've been, right. this is why ducking us for Get years. Get on with it, dude. Come on. In the first clip, when I said you're in a long-term committed relationship, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And have photos of yourself like that, it is cheating. Well, guess what? Since she's been my girl, guess what's on her profile? It's hidden. It's private. She doesn't have those pictures up. So okay? you're saying things that happened in the past deleted. don't matter. She deleted, she deleted thousands of people that used to follow her. Destiny, watch Spy Family. If you don't like it, Bammy for Life. Oh, it has two seasons. Well, since you donated $5, yes, I will do that. I will go and watch a whole anime just for you. Thank you. So right. things that happened in the past deleted. don't matter. She deleted, she deleted thousands of people that used to follow her. So, right? so or, things or in the past. So if she's, if she's, things happen in the past and she's moved on and then that stuff doesn't matter anymore. Well, it's not about that. It's about how does she acquiesce to you? Does she get into your frame once you get with her? Okay. So 
But with the thing with Fresh, because you reached there, that's not his well, main role. Well, Fresh said, uh, like play the girl. sound, Zach. What was it? She's posting pictures like that? Bro. It's then, a rap, man, for you. It's you a said rap. it's a rap. Oh, out of no, it's, it's not. Rap. No, it's not. It's a rap. Not. You're going to expose me, right, bro? It's you obviously don't know what I do, bro. This is like, this is literally why I say you're not uh, prepared because obviously you don't watch our channel. You don't know how we move. And it's funny because we... Izzel donated $6. Here's $6. Do not watch Spy's Family. <laughs> Get pussy, bro. You don't. So it's like, bro, like, what are you trying to say here, bro? I'm donating four times that Charles donated. Ask you not to watch the anime. Okay, stop. Because we get pussy, bro. You don't. So it's like, <laughs> bro, like, what are you trying to say here, bro? Yep. Wait, what is even? What is the counter to this? It's not about getting pussy. I say. You're I thought it was bro. about. You obviously don't know what I do, bro. This is like, this is literally why I say you're not prepared because obviously you don't watch our channel. You don't know how we move, and it's funny because we get pussy, bro. You don't. So it's, it's like, bro, like, what are you trying to say here, bro? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, like, I am. I, you're just congratulating me on being married, my, uh, Walter. What the heck? It's bro. A wrap. So, a wrap. Like, no, like, well, hold on. Pick a lane. Am I? Do you get pussy and I'm mad about it, or are you seven dollars to watch faces of you're death? You're trying to put wow. us, expose us. We don't know how we move. I said congrats to you because that's what you can do with one girl. It's fine. Myron, oh. uh, our coconuts. Um, do you usually take your um, side girls to uh, meet your mom and buy her presents for her birthday? See what it is. Oh, video. She bought her really a wonderful mother's gift. Uh -oh. She seems serious. Ethan, if you watch first Who, by the way, more power to her. She Ethan. seems successful, Ethan. and God bless her for getting out there and shaking her body, or showing her body. And I think that, um, I think women, I think it's fantastic that women feel empowered. I think it sucks Ethan. that you guys wrap yourselves into pretzels. And it just and Ethan is a retard here because nothing he brings up counters anything they have said. Well, I mean, like, I think there is a general argument to be made that for guys that talk about avoiding thoughts and OnlyFans girls and blah, blah, blah so much, it feels like that is that do tend to be the girls that they keep romantically in their orbit are people that have posted revealing stuff on Instagram or been OnlyFans girls or blah, blah, blah. It seems like that is the case. I mean, that's the point he's trying to make, which I think is generally true. Like, these guys aren't like, they're not like, um, you know, like securing tradcon wives or getting married and having kids or anything like that. And now, now that you guys have actually entered relationships, which hasn't happened until recently, you have to like, you're getting called out by your own fans. You're having to justify. You just love the girl and you want to be in a, in a relationship. And in the real world, isn't black and white like you guys try to imagine it is. And, uh, but now you guys are kind of like uh, caught in your own web. You just love your girls. I love, you know what I mean? Love is love, dude. You guys just give in. It's a wrap. This is why it's funny. You know why? I see the folks. Say what? Multiple girls in my videos, right? Mm -hmm. So I stopped doing it because you used to have vlogs. People were. Here's ten dollars. Don't watch anime, Mr. Benelli. Watch the October seventh live action. Wow. Acting weird with the girls and their family. Don't stop posting that. Doesn't mean it stops. It just means that I moved differently. Now, granted, you're gonna say, "Oh, bro, this girl's your girlfriend." Nah. Ooh, well, what? I don't believe you guys are, are have multiple partners. I don't believe it. Well, you're gonna know. You're not here in Miami. You don't see it. I don't know. I just, I just am telling you. Y'all so fucking have girlfriends. Cringe. Gay. These two dudes have girlfriends. Gay. Exposed. You guys are so exposed right now. Girlfriends. What do you, what mean, do you mean exposed? I do a weekly show with my girl and I say she's my girl on my show. What are you talking about? Well, what Myron's the one dodging, but you say you I'm have multiple girlfriends. Anything. That's everyone a lie. Knows, everyone knows that my girl is Angelica. We do so she's not a hoe. You called her a hoe, but she's no longer a hoe. We true crime show together. So also, she's not a friend. hoe. She was a hoe, but she's not a hoe anymore. I love the fact also, because if you're going to play that clip, I also said, and they're like, oh, well, we don't know. But this is what this one of the profiles where you got to get to know the girl. Exactly. I said that too. You made sure to not show that part, didn't you? I'll open I it. No, it's there. I'll, I'll watch it again. So, so, again uh, you don't watch anything, which is why you are very ill informed. But let me go ahead and pictures like that. I mean, here it is. I, I've watched well, the whole thing. You guys can watch it again. I mean, you can. You know, sexy you photos of yourself on the internet. You know, Instagram is just one medium that you can do it. Yeah, it's like, cheating. She's posting pictures like that? Bro. It's a wrap, man, for you. It's a wrap. So, I don't like that. Pretty sure the reason the Bible bans interest is because, sorry, I'm just like clicking through tweets I've got. This is really boring. <sighs> I don't know if I can watch the rest of this, guys. We'll see. Uh, pictures. It's not sexualizing okay. Okay. Yeah, when you post pictures of yourself right. on the internet that are scantily clad it's for the purpose of getting and or yeah, attention to men, it is sexualizing it's yourself. What are the definition post not. And it's not traditional. It's okay. it's not no. the only fans, whatever, no. even if you're not a hoe. Myron, look, the titties out. Assume you're a hoe. The titties out on that top left. Go, scroll up a little bit, Chris. Look at this. This is haram. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Streets. Do you say she's for the streets? Clips out of context is what you do when you try to run with a Out of context? What the fuck do you need? As I told you before. Okay, so so after you called her a hoe and said you're for the streets, you said psych? No, no, no. What I'm telling you is I was like, oh, well, with this profile, you got to get to kind of get to know the girl, right? Mm -hmm. So here's what I want to say, because you're trying to run with this narrative of like, blah, 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 right? Blah, blah, blah. Refresh the situation, right? Because you, you brought up the, the Asian girl. 
Fresh used to literally vlog a girl on his other channel every day, but he had to stop that shit because people started getting weird and sending girls weird messages, et cetera. Yeah. So he's with different women every day. That's not one of his main no, goals. No, he's man. not. One concept to you because you're, yes, bro, many girls have met his mom if I'm going to break the fucking bubble to you. I'm sure that's true. Walter, you, uh, Walter, you do not strike me as a dude who brings girls around your mama easily. Look, many girls have met his mom. That's number one. Is that right, Walter? Hold on. That's yes. a funny thing. Walter, how many girls meet your mom? Damn. Many right. girls have met your mom, okay? So that's not being your mom, Walter. Respect Walter your doesn't time. Want to Respect <laughs> your mama's time, man. <laughs> he exposed me this, though. He just exposed me yeah. Fuck. Like, Snitch. five girls have met his mom, bro. So nice try. So, so wait, two. wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. This is good. Why is it an expose, Walter? Because I don't want that to be like that. <laughs> He's a fed, though. Give him, give him some bread. Because you're trying to use yeah. that to support your claim that that's his main girl. I'm trying to tell you, all girls meet his mom. The game is to be sold, not told. Do you understand that, Ethan? You would understand that. You have no game. Keep it selling dreams to these girls, bro. It is what it is. <laughs> wait, what did you say, Walter? The game is to be sold, not told, my friend. Yeah. So, to be sold, <laughs> right? not my, told. <laughs> but isn't your whole show telling the, the game? Is that what your whole fucking show is? What do you mean? Uh, to you. Oh, you to me. Because I'm out. Because I'm married with kids. Lame. Yeah. Like I'm a loser married with kids. Right, once successful. Again, you, but you can't put that on me because I don't do that right now. Yeah. I mean, if we want to talk about girls, why is your girlfriend going to the gym right now? My wife. My wife going to the gym. Yeah. Why is she going ahead and starting to work out? Why would, my, you, why would your significant other want to be healthy? Oh, now she wants to be healthy. Oh, if, whoa. Every girl that goes to the gym is going to cheat. Because you want to bring my chicken. Wait, your girlfriend's you constantly at the gym. Both of y'all girlfriends are at the gym. It's a wrap. What? Walter, your girlfriend works out all the time. Who? Oh, uh, no, dude, you guys, are, you guys are like a comedy duo. You guys are like who's on third? Who? Girlfriend, what? I don't know where. When? I just told you. My my wife is due in... Uh, my wife who's working out to cheat on me is... Do they just do the... Your wife is going to the gym, so she must be cheating on you bit? Actually, due to have a baby in less than a month. Third okay. baby, by the way. Third baby. A boy. Three boys. Can I get a big ups for my sperm? Telltale signs of a woman leaving a man and she starts going to the gym. It's actually it's very well documented. I'm okay. just telling you. Is it very well documented? Is there a study on that? Women that start going to the gym leave their husbands? Pictures like that? Bro. Go ahead and have a uh, man for you. <laughs> I was just saying, you guys. Pictures of herself in the gym and stuff like that, man. You might want to watch out. And here's the other thing, too, because you want to mention with Angie. Is having um, kid, three remember, kids a telltale sign of leaving a man? She's everything up. Hold on, Ethan. We'll let you talk, bro. Yeah, so again, oh, okay. once she got with me, she switched everything up. And I'm in an open relationship. I no, do what not. I want. She's monogamous to me. No, I'm open on my end. She's closed on her end. Okay. That's I know a that's lie. Cool. How's, that? How's that a lie? Because I know you guys are cute and you love your girlfriends. He packs my condoms. You guys, it's just part of your business. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Ethan. Again, ow. Well, you, that's what you say. You guys have a nice rehearsed <laughs> thing to sell it to your audience. But you Bro, love your I girlfriend. Just, I love that for you guys. If you're not aware, uh, <laughs> give it up. Love, love, love. You guys, that's you right. guys have this wonderful, right. two wonderful <laughs> ladies, and you want to treat them right. And I think that's great. And they're both beautiful. It's a wrap. Ethan, you're trying so hard. If you're not aware, we travel a lot. We're here in Miami. We do double dates all the time. Walter, but you've had girl. sex with 1,000 women. You claim. Maybe it could be more. Could be a lot more. Who knows? <laughs> the point is, though, Ethan, you don't know how we operate. You just assume because that's all you do. You assume haven't had. So you, you've had sex with a thousand women, and then Myron, you've had sex with was it like four fifty or something about that? You had the exact uh, number, like four. Yeah, four, it's like four four something. It's like you count one. each one. That's creepy. How's that creepy? You have like a kill list. Like, what are you doing? You you dot you you catalog every woman you have sex with. You know that's interesting because your partner Hassan sat down right next to a girl that cataloged the dick size, the amount of guys, the names. What does that have to do with me? That's other shit. Well, you partnered with him and did a podcast together, bro. I don't know it's anything like, about that girl. I don't give a fuck. Your friend. And you want to talk to Yeah, you know what? It's weird what she did. That's weird. Uh, you no. partnered with that guy, right? No. That's your friend. Well, he that's didn't do friend. it. She did. Oh. If he did it, it'd be weird. Hey, if he did it, if she did it, it'd be weird. If fucking uh, 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 Abraham Lincoln did it, it'd be weird. If oh, you know okay. what I mean? If Myron <laughs> Gaines catalogs 447, I mean, how long is that list? You got like a whole fucking Torah scroll of girls you fuck. That's crazy. Hey, man, right. You whip I'm it not, out like a cartoon like character and let it roll it's across the floor. Like that other girl, and your partner was totally cool with that. <laughs> By the way, he's even more critical of Israel than me, and you don't call him anti Semitic, do you? Well, it's, yeah, he's. That's your friend. Yeah, he, fact, that's he, why I don't do the podcast no more. Because he was critical of you being a super well, Zionist. It might surprise you to know, but being against Israel doesn't make you anti-Semitic. Oh, yeah, really? really? When did I mention Israel? I didn't even mention Israel when I was accusing you. Oh, yeah, I know. Because if you did mention Israel, you... Wait. Why is it weird to keep track of who you've had sex with? I don't think there's anything necessarily weird with that. What makes it weird is if you're sharing genital details with people that know the people. That's pretty weird. Am I debating Sean King somewhere? January, February, March, April, on the 1st of April. It's a shit post retard.
Oh, I don't fucking know. April 1st. Oh, can you do April Fool's jokes beforehand? I don't think it works that way, but okay. You would know that that's what I'm critical of, not Jewish people. The nation of Israel is what I'm critical of, so now- What's the joke? Yeah, there. I don't know, that, how is that a joke? So Hassan is an anti-Semitic? Cool, neither am I. And he says way more stuff than I do about that conflict. What has he said about the movie Europa? What? Did you watch it? <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, okay. I mean, listen, I haven't read Mein Kampf, but- Look I at what they said underneath. Upon completion of the debate, all participants will be executed. That was a different tweeter, wasn't it? This is a different guy. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't think- I don't- okay. I know it's not good. <laughs> It's a wrap. Well, have mean, you I read think... Mein Kampf? How do you know it's bad? Have I read Mein Kampf? Yeah. No, I haven't read then, it. Is Mein Kampf a bad book? Is it? Uh, I mean, I don't you know. Us. No, you tell us. Have you read this? You should read it. Oh, have yeah. It's, it? I mean, it's about Hitler. It's about Hitler's dreams of basically uh, uh, world domination and that Jews are the root of all the world's problems. It's a, pre Hitler. it's a prelude to the Holocaust. Did you read it? What do you, yeah, what do you think about no, it? No, I you... literally started this conversation by saying I haven't read it, Walter. So then what are we, what are we talking about? It? Okay. What the you have the you're like a goldfish, bro. How are you a podcaster? No, I've been meaning to ask you this, coconuts. Of all the profession in the world, the fact that you're actually a podcaster blows my fucking mind. All I'm gonna say is, if you're gonna call me anti-Semitic for being critical of Israel, then you gotta call your friend. I didn't criticize you for being saying one thing about Israel, man. You're conflating you being a neo-Nazi with being a critic of Israel, and it's stupid. Well, that's what I'm critical of is Israel. So clearly, I'm not anti-Semitic by your logic. Thanks. God, you are really dense. I'm not dense at all. I'm just saying, like, I don't even know. Okay, you got me. You got me, buddy. Again, I'd, I'd be really careful about answering questions. I don't know what Mein Kampf is about. Do you? Like, I don't know how much of Mein Kampf is dedicated to anti-Semitism versus Hitler's general anxieties or issues relating to his own life versus history of Germany. Is Mein Kampf, I, I, my understanding is I don't think Mein Kampf is just a whole book about Jews, right? Pretty sure there's a lot of other stuff written in here as well, no? But I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Because it's, yeah, he tried his coup bullshit, he got imprisoned, I think they released him because of political pressure? I don't even remember why. How long even is this? 720 pages? Is it like triple spaced? In the house of my parents, years of study and suffering in Vienna. Holy shit. This is a true manifesto writer. So, okay, all right, okay so, so just because my girl packs my condom, so we're in an open relationship. I know you're saying like that's yeah, I don't believe that. Yeah, believe I feel like any guy that thinks he's in a one sided open relationship is probably in a two sided one, and the girl just doesn't tell him. <laughs> That'd be my assumption, but I don't know. Believe us. Please tell us. You guys are in a loving relationship with your wonderful girlfriend. You think we're both And you're monogamous. And also, you, Walter, you've slept with probably 15 women, and Myron, eight. That's what I'm saying. No, Ethan. Okay, so you don't believe my body counts either. That's, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's weird. That's your comment. I'm applying to a man about my body count. That's yeah. weird, bro. Weird. So, so you think I got an eight body count and you think Fresh has a 50 body count? Yes. You think we're gonna okay. keep it that way, bro. Cool. Fantastic. Whatever you think, bro. That's that's awesome. Six, six million? Whatever you think, bro. <laughs> Whatever you think. Nice. Bring it back to the Holocaust. That's Bring it said. back to Holocaust denial. That's what's up. That, that's what you said. Let's yeah. not forget about that part of the interview. Wait, 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 I, I thought you wanted to debate like you know uh, masculinity and dating. Okay, I'll ask you a question in that realm. Why, why do you, why is it important how many women you've had sex with? I never said that was important. You've, you've said your body count. You said you've slept with a thousand. Podcast. So it's not important how many women you have slept with? Not really, no. But you didn't, well, I would say you do need experience. You need experience, but experience. like, I mean, after a certain number, it just becomes novelty at that point. So it's like, no, I mean, it's not. So why do you count? I'm just curious. Why do you count each one? I just, I just count. I mean, I'm just one of those guys. I, I kind of document everything in my life. Mm -hmm. That's just how. Mm -hmm. And Walter, do you count? No. It's too many to count in Walter's case. That's going to be fucking every, every day, multiple what times. That's my boy. Uh, he barely has time to do the podcast. He's just fucking on the way to work. He told me it's eight. You know why it's important to document yeah. things, Ethan? I'm doing I document jokes. everything so that when people make allegations, try to say you sexually assaulted a girl, you're prepared. And you're able to do a six-hour podcast with all the evidence proving that you're innocent and you didn't do shit. <laughs> accusations like that can turn into <laughs> So I do document everything for that very reason. Great. Fantastic. Yep. Um, well, um, let's see. Coconuts, you are... You are um, religious, right? Who said that? Oh my God! What's the point of this conversation, man? Do you want to end the conversation? 
Well, Ethan, uh, while you're on your decline, I just think you should research the problem you assume, you know? Yeah, you, you didn't research much, man, bro. You didn't, well, oh, okay. yeah, you did like, yo, you got to fire the people that did your research for you, bro. Terrible team, bro. God damn. May I accuse you guys of being bad faith? Sure. Well, how are we bad faith? Go ahead. Well, we can start by not answering any fucking question I ask. Oh, we you answer every question I have with like, well, what do you think? That's like cowardly, well, lame uh, combo. You guys suck. Myron, are you religious? No. Oh, sorry, not Myron. Walter, are you religious? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> you look so silly. You know why I say that, uh, Ethan? Because if you do research, you would know what the answer is. I uh, know what, what the answer is, dude, but, but what, that's part no, of having a conversation, no, 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 man. No, no, no. Tell the audience what I am. Let's see how your um, assistants did. How, yeah. Let's see how they did. Tell what, what is he? And what, what are you? Please, you're right or wrong. Go ahead. Well, I see you're wearing a cross. Okay. I believe you come from a religious family, correct? Okay. I believe that you're, you have an ex a family member, a grandpa, or someone like that who's a pastor. No. I believe you might have been studying to become a pastor at some point. Yes. Okay. And I believe that I'm not 100% sure what your current status is with religion, and hence the question, my friend. Okay. Well, the answer is no. Okay. Very good. Cool. How fun was that? You're just you're a thrill and a joy. It was great. You're so monotone. Thank you. You did, hey, you did answer the question. So you're not religious. I, what you can't get mad at us because you've been a little ill-researched, so we kind of want to see how accurate you would be with that one. I mean, you guys say that, but I'm pretty spot on here. I wouldn't say you're spot on, man. No, like you're, you've got things way out of context, way off. Okay. You know, awesome. you literally said our body counts are 8 and 15, man. You're not spot on at that's, all. Yeah, that's just a joke. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm just goofing yeah, on you guys. 8 and 15, and then you also said that we're monogamous relationships, and we're loving relationships with our girlfriends. Like, wait, what? We got and, exposed. Then, and then you went ahead and said that I'm exposed for having a girlfriend when I have a weekly show where I call her my girlfriend on my true crime chat. <laughs> We literally play Overwatch together and stream it. What are you talking about, dude? Like, everyone knows I got a girl. I've never hit that. <laughs> you know how I know it's bad? Wikipedia is his source. Yo, well, yeah, we can, we can, well, yeah. well, you guys have seen the movie. What's a better source than asking you guys? No, I mean, dude, I would hope you would have done better research than that. God damn, Ethan. You've but, seen the movie. Uh, tell me what it's about. I'm prepared. What, what, what else do you want to talk about? What is Europa about? Bro. Watch the Who can say? I spent eight hours watching this film, and I can't remember anything about it. Yeah, that pales in comparison to other documentaries that I've watched on World War II. I watch everything, dude. That's a special one, though. Come on. That's one of the special ones that you got. You can't find it on Netflix. You know what I mean? Okay, so, so I'm evil or like I'm a bad guy for looking at alternative history and looking to see something that isn't necessarily in mainstream media. I think that's important to look at all things. Again, like what you're claiming saying that you're anti-Semitic. I bring Nick Fuentes on. I bring Dave Rubin on. I bring Dave Lula Rubin on. is not King of the Jews. Ryan Dawson, but that's Nick, not the Nick of, Fuentes he, is a neo-Nazi. He, he, look, look, the point is, is that I'm okay with having conversations with people that have different views that I, than I do. And I'm okay with having people from different walks of life come on this podcast and talk. What like, other, uh, what other World War II documentaries would you consider based? Uh, there's a couple, man, that are pretty good. Can I you mean, name them? Sure. I, I like Numec, right? I think that's a good one. Numec? Uh, yeah. Based. By, 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 yeah, pretty based. Talks okay. about, you know, how JF, John F. Kennedy was killed. Oh, that's another. Check that out. Wait, what's the, can you read? Is it okay if I read the synopsis of that one? I don't know if that has a synopsis. I don't know if that one has a synopsis, man, but it's very historically oh, so you're, accurate. You're, so wait, where are you finding this shit? Nobody's ever wrote a description of it. That's what you're saying? It's never been it's described in the, in the human it. history? You're not going to find it. It's on Rumble. Oh. Reasons. Yeah. But it's all historically accurate. Extremely historically accurate. What's it about? Well, it covers a bunch of things. It covers how, you know, <laughs> the nuclear bomb was stolen from the United States, and it talks about how organized crime... Uh, that nuclear bomb stolen from the United States is a... Jewish thing, by the way, yeah. Was involved in the Where United was the States. nuclear bomb? You know, the nuclear bomb was stolen from the United States, and it talks about how organized crime uh, was involved in the Where United was the States. nuclear Organized crime, was that also, like, started by Jews? That's my guess. The bomb flown to. Oh, it was stolen from the United States and moved to Israel. Stolen by who, Myron? Israel. <laughs> why didn't you just say that from the beginning? I literally just told you. you didn't well, well me... I had to press it out of you. I, why did I have to press that detail out of you? I told you the documentary, and then you were interrupting me as I was trying to tell you what okay, it was. so let's keep going. So... It's about how Israel stole a nuclear bomb from America. Yep. Go on. Which is, by the way. Go on. It's a fact. Okay, go on. What else is it about? Anything else, bro? This game boring. Yeah. <sighs> what do we do, Coco? What do we do? Well, the Klein, I mean, at this point, I don't know. This is your debate. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's uh, a story. You guys are just, right. you guys are being very subservient to me right now. I like that. We're not being subservient to you. We're just letting you know that, like, you hey, laid, you got your, you laid down, and you're all spread out for me. That's strange. What? Right. I, call, I, call, I call this a civil debate, which you know, on our end, we've been very professional. We've been avoiding ad hominems. You've been taking a lot of ad hominems. You haven't really even debated any of our not ideas. At all. Man, us more 
uh, than actually attacking any of our ideas or our viewpoints. You've just been coming at us the whole time, which is cool. I expected that you would do this, which is why we were prepared. Okay, um, so you can't be that disappointed. No, no, no. I mean, I knew. What, is there anything you want to ask me? Since uh, this has been very subservient with me and firm control of the interview, no, as, no, uh, no. as the kind of you know, uh, which is which I tend to be in control of, of interactions with people. Uh, it's it's just one of my kind of alpha traits, along with being married and having kids and being quite successful too. I'm well, glad you don't want to have this debate in person when I asked you to do it in person, right? Ooh, what does that matter? Oh, okay, so awful, but you don't want to have this conversation in person like I wanted to. Who cares? Oh, now it's who cares. <laughs> I think that's a pretty important detail, Ethan. Why? You know, that sounds pretty subservient, that you want to do it on the internet and not in person. What? Oh, okay. Now it's not so subservient now, huh? Zoom is, get, is Zoom is subservient? No, I'm telling you that I wanted to have this conversation in person and you don't want to do it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I prefer Zoom. I do all these kind of interviews on Zoom. Oh, yeah, well, I think that says a lot. What, are you going to beat my ass? What are you saying? I never said that. <laughs> why would I be scared? To, why would I, you're applying I'd be scared if you came to the office, right? I don't know why you didn't want to do it. I don't know why. You tell us why you didn't want to do it in person. Well, I'll tell you why. Because when sure. I do these types of interviews with people, it's good to have an out for us and you. Sometimes they get out. contentious. Sometimes they get heated. And when it's on Zoom, we can just hang up and carry on. And same with you guys. So that's why I've never had anybody in studio for these types of debates. Okay, well, here's the thing with me. I like to, you know, be able to look a man in his eye when he disagrees with me and we can have a civil conversation, right, and make sure that, you know, stays integrity-based, respectful, etc. Because I'm pretty confident you wouldn't have said half the things you said. I would have said everything I said to your face person. every fucking time. And let's set it up in person. I don't want talk. you in my studio. Who cares, man? Why are you so upset? You're so upset. You, you have a six-pack, okay. and so you think that that will intimidate me. Whenever, over yeah, the sure. internet, it seems that I have the edge, personality-wise, uh, uh, control-wise, success-wise, uh, uh, relationship wise family wise so 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 if you bring so your theory is if you bring the abs i just said to the studio then you'll have a one up on me no i just said we can have this conversation in person you don't want to do it and that's fine i think that says that signals a lot of things but that's cool i, mean, I, mean, I am having a baby in two Miami. weeks i really don't I'm give a fuck you out here first class we can have a conversation in person i'm not saying that there's going to be can any you not express yourself over video call no we absolutely can but i'm saying you're trying to have this frame of like oh well i'm the dominant one blah 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 and i'm telling you well you didn't want to be dominated today my friend you didn't dominate you anything, know, my friend. We oh, re debunked you know, all of your points. Yo, but we can continue on. Just like I said, you've just been doing ad hominem attacks. You've been reaching, etc. No we way, dude. Points. Is there we'll anything you guys want to ask me today? Uh, I'll, I'll give you the floor. I'll relinquish control uh, briefly for you guys to ask me something. No, no, no. no. Uh, it's fine. We've asked you a few questions. You said you want to debate on something with uh, with intersectional dynamics and dating. Go ahead. What did you want to ask? Oh, did you want to, I asked. Asked well, I, debate, by the I, way. I, you said you wanted to debate masculinity, dating, all this other stuff. None of that was actually covered, which is cool. I anticipated this would happen. No, that, but, I think we covered pretty well what we said. We said, what did we say? I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Who gives a fuck? No, no, no. Who gives a fuck? Well, we <laughs> said like dating, culture, men and women. And we said general stuff you guys talk about. This is all stuff you guys talk about. You've had Nick Fuentes on. I showed you clips of that. How was that taking you out of context? Uh, there was no comment. Of, uh, there was no talk at all about foreign policy with Israel and America, but that's fine. Nah. I mean, we can talk about that. I mean, it's it's whatever, man. It's cool. Like I what said, what do you want to ask? Okay, so my my question is, why does Bob I feel like he needs? It? Or I guess I mean, I guess it probably looks fine for you then. It's kind of weird. The freshman guys won't answer a single thing, or it's like a question everything. In the beginning, I think it was kind of whatever, but now it's kind of mimi. Like that, they literally won't answer a single question. But I don't know. The count matter. You guys said it doesn't, which is interesting. I'm pretty sure that's a contradiction. We it agreed depends. on we what? agreed on masculinity, feminism, body, body count, count etc. You said body count when it comes to men and sexual partners. We said, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter like that. You should get your experience, but it doesn't matter like that. But men and women aren't the same. You said specifically for men. Oh, body, right, right, right. Body, yeah, okay. Body count matters for women. Right, this is one of your guys' great points. Walter, does body count uh, matter for women? Absolutely. Really? Well, then your mom doesn't... No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. She's lovely. <laughs> I was just going to do it, you mom jokes. On actual topics, or are you going to keep making ad hominem? Oh, it's clearly over. You want to ask me anything or not? This shit is boring. Oh. You guys are so subservient. I'm going to put a little pink yeah. cuff. Keep, I want to put little fluffy pink handcuffs on you guys and call <laughs> you naughty, naughty hard. boys who it's love your girlfriends. Valid. You naughty boys love your girlfriends, and that is so gay. It's a wrap. That's, that's gay to love women? Apparently. <laughs> That doesn't make yeah, sense, Ethan. Well, it is what? a joke. I know it's hard to comprehend. All right. So I guess you guys don't. You guys didn't prepare any questions? Oh, we asked you, bro. Okay. But uh, apparently you're not a person to talk, so there's no point. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, the thing is, is that you're hypercritical of what we tell guys on how we advise them to, to move with modern dating. And then we ask that question. You couldn't even really give any type of, you know, solid game plan for guys to move. So I find it interesting how I'll put one together. All right. I'll go. I'm going to go hit the grind. I'm going to put together a dating plan. Okay? You know, people like you guys typically tend to be hypercritical of how we tell guys to move, which we say. I don't know if you get this message, but we get thousands of messages from guys saving them from committing suicide, hurting themselves, etc. You're saints. You saved that. them all. Yeah, we save them from making really bad decisions with women because guys really do make. I mean, a lot of I, I think if, if there's men that watch this show, if they've learned anything, it's probably how to respect 
uh, and how to have a long-term healthy relationship with a woman that you can call your wife and have a family with. How do you get a wife, Ethan? Bro, what the fuck, man? Do you need me to do the Dr. <laughs> Seuss listing places again? Yeah, well, yeah, like, I'll write a guide. I'll write a guide. I'll write a guide. Because my thing is like you're you're like just you're talking about the finish line. What about the race? Yeah, yeah. you stand like you have to. Are either of you married? Where you can even identify a female that's worthy of marriage, of having a family with, etc. And unfortunately, in today's day and age, it's not that simple anymore. So we live in a very complex world where it's difficult to identify women that are marriage material, and most aren't. Simply, that's just what it is. So you guys are, if you guys' that? method is so good, why aren't you married? Again, because men are the ones that decide if they want to get married. Choice. So you had so so you choose not to be married. Yeah, right. because men are You're the one. We're the gatekeepers to marriage and commitment. Women are the gatekeepers to sex. Right. And um, you're 34, right, Myron? Yes. And um, do you plan on getting married someday? Do you think it's important? Eventually, the nuclear family is the backbone to any thriving society. Oh, thank you for saying that about me. Good job, but a lot of guys don't have that ability to find a woman that's worthy. You don't have that ability. I don't have that ability. You're not married. That's by choice. <laughs> oh, but you, but no, the ability to find a woman, you clearly don't have that ability. I I, I well, like, let me yeah. ask you this. Let me ask you this, Myron. <laughs> if you are single by choice and you don't, let, let me ask you this: Why are you, you on a? Watch me on a sugar daddy website. Why are you on sugar daddy website? Be your sugar baby, and then Never. couldn't afford my allowance. He hit. couldn't afford my ten thousand dollar allowance a month, and oh, said, "Huh, that's funny. Why don't you just come on my podcast well, instead?" Ethan, are you aware so of the fact that we did a complete a episode? To be just, on let the clip, just let the clip play so the audience can watch, and then we could talk about it. Or to be on a fucking app. It's called Seeking Arrangements yes. to troll women. Yes. <laughs> and I know yes. a bunch of girls have talked about it because that's his thing. That's how he gets women to come on here. So I just want to be. So thank you for cementing the fact that I don't pay girls off sugar sites. Thank you. Then why are you on that? Why are you on that? I use it as a dating site. I've said it many times. <laughs> so you use the, the Sugar Daddy websites as dating sites? Yeah, so we did a whole episode and on And then it. you complain about women being shallow. I never complain about women being you shallow. Say, you say it's hard to find a good woman because they're interested. This, I don't know why you would... I mean, like, if you're looking for women on Sugar Baby dating sites, obviously you're going to find women that are obsessed with money and clout. Like, obviously, yeah. It, uh, and they're, they're motivated by material things and stuff. And yet you're seeking women specifically who are... I mean, would supposedly uh, be a certain type of woman, obviously, that would be on a sugar daddy website. So it seems like you are confirming your biases by even going there to find women. Are you, you, you know what I mean? What? Okay, so you Sorry, said- Sorry, Walter, I'll, I'll say, do you want me to say it again slower? Yeah, I mean, you, you, what is your specific thing that you're trying to insinuate here? Because one, you're trying to attack me for being on a sugar site, which I was <laughs> gonna talk about, but, you, but that's fine. So what is your specific critique? Yeah, you, the women, Women are what are this way. You say women are uh, materialistic. Hypergamous. Hyper. Okay. Hypergamous. Okay. And then okay, let's just start there. Women are always trying to date up a socio uh, in status. Yes. And and yet here you are seeking out these types of women to confirm your okay. own bias. Don't you find that ironic? No. Um. Because here's the thing. <clears throat> All women are hypergamous, okay? Well, and all women on sugar on sugar daddy websites are. They're even they're even more so with the hypergamy. Oh, so okay? they're hyper hypergamy. But you yes. seek them out, okay? Because here's the thing. Because you when know that they're interested in your money anybody. and not your personality, which is what makes you insecure. Okay, I love how you just jumped to that conclusion, but can I finish my point and Please. then I can go and address right. your ridiculous claim that yeah. you just made? Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, um, when you're I'm dating, not insecure. Okay, when you're, well, we'll, we'll address that here in a second, because I love when liberals like you like to claim insecure. Liberals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you're a leftist. Come on, man, let's keep it a thousand. Anyway. Oh, chill. What are we doing here? It, it, that's a whole other conversation. But either way, when you're a guy and you're dating, you need to have multiple methodologies to meet women, right? You mentioned before, hey, you should go and meet a house party, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's called, you know, going out and meeting a girl in real life. But you want to use dating apps, you want to use social circle, you want to use the club, <laughs> oh, etc. You want to be able to meet women through different avenues, okay? So sugar sites, if you're smart, you treat them like a dating app. Idiots use it to actually get sugar babies and pay. Why would you want to seek out women like that? On sugar sites? Yeah. So here's the, here's the, here's the thing. There's a lot of women on these sugar sites, actually, that are professionals. They make a lot of money themselves. They're doctors, lawyers, etc. And what they do is they <laughs> use dating site. Yeah. No shot. I don't believe that for a microsecond. I think they probably, if anything, they're using things like Raya or they're just like dating in networks of friends or whatever. There's no way that professional accomplished women are going on sugar daddy dating websites. Unless by accomplished, we mean they sell, they've got like a clothing business that every woman seems to in fucking Miami Beach or whatever. Or some weird, dumb, like Instagram model job that where they're successful, but yeah, I know. Yeah, so I know. you're you're on sugar daddy sites looking for doctors. I never said that. I'm telling you 
that there's women on there, okay, yeah. that are looking for guys that are on their level financially or they're tired of That's not of what a sugar daddy website is, dude. Come on. Who you you you're you're doing this silly thing here. Yeah, your, it's, it's, your limited knowledge is why you're making the comments that you're making. Okay, so, so women, women doctors, doctors and professionals okay. of all types, professors yes. are on sugar social daddy websites media, searching media, for their media, perfect sugar media, daddy. Now, with that said, there are awesome. a lot of women that are um like basically sugar babies on there and, and escorts. Of course there are. Your job as the man to screen those girls out. And I did this whole episode on YouTube where we covered that shit. A to Z, how do you use sugar sites to actually date and not get finessed, okay? And find girls that are actually worthy of dating and not dealing with a bunch of, you know, uh, chicks that you don't necessarily... Hold on one second. <laughs> what is this? Myron roasts fresh mo and bills for sucking at Overwatch. Bills quit literally crying three months ago. Bill said he's leaving? No, I'm just, I'm just depressed, bro. Uh, yeah, we need, we need practice, bro. For a second, because you suck, nigga. If you left, I'd be happy. <laughs> we need practice, bro. We need practice. Listen, the way I see it, I, I was, I was in the objective. Yo, even the niggas in the chat are, yo, fresh. Even the niggas in your chat are saying you're terrible, bro. I don't play Overwatch, bro. I play Call of Duty or Smash Brothers. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, I'll be no, no, what happened to Mister? I'm good at video games, bro. I have to learn the game. I played the game for two days, bro. Hey, was he actually two crying? Days? The way I see it, I, I was, I was in the objective. Is he crying? Maybe he's just like high or some shit. I don't, is he really crying? No, even the niggas in the chat are, yo, friend. I'll be like, no, what happened to Mr. I'm good at video games, bro. I have to learn the game. I played the game for two days, bro. Two days. Run another one, you scrub. Two days, bro. Run another one, you scrub. Just hit that again. You know, you I want to see you piss Smash Brothers and, and you tell me, oh. <laughs> okay. They want to align with now is using a sugar site the best way to meet a chick i would say probably not the reality is most of them probably aren't going to be fit for a long-term relationship however so are why girls, go there are there girls on there because dude because on dating apps etc most women are not worthy of a relationship so most but why go there specifically so why i feel like watching myron play overwatch would actually be really fucking funny i feel like those would be funny streams <laughs> Why didn't options, bro? Why didn't the options got it? And here's something too. Also, you he's got to be DPS, right? What does he play? He's got to play like fucking like Tracer or Genji or some fucking shit like that, right? What does he? Does anybody know? This, but let me also say hey, this. Yeah. No, I'm not, no, I'm just using this as an analogy. You, you know, go ahead. I'm not even gonna go there. Oh, he you might need soldier? a girl on Tinder, okay. okay? Or you might need a girl on Bumble or Edge, and maybe she doesn't meet up, or maybe she just doesn't get back to respond to you, whatever. A lot of the times, you'll see that girl on a sugar site. Happens all the time, okay? She'll be way more responsive to you on those sites because there's implied status. <laughs> Okay, and that's just how your it is. Personality is not enough to get her attention. When it comes to dating apps, your personality can't show until you meet her in person. Yeah, the right. whole goal is to get her on the date in the first that's, place. That's when you never get that second date. And that's one of the limitations. That's one of the limitations of online dating, which is why I tell guys you need to go out there and be in different avenues meeting women. But with online dating, you are limited to that degree, and status uh, and image matters. On your sugar daddy um, profile, you got you say you guys do one on one coaching. I never said that. It's right here. But you do one on one coaching. It's on your website. What the the consultations? Yeah, thirty minute one on one. Oh, yeah, we need to update that. I don't do, I, I raised my prices significantly since then. Yeah, because it's on your website and it's open for, for enrollment. And your schedule is fucking wide open, bro. Both y'all, every I, hour, I, ain't nobody wants to talk to you guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 a.m. Look at every day, wide open, baby. You know what's interesting, Ethan? I literally had to refund a guy two days ago on PayPal. He actually commented when Candace Owens was in here. Mm -hmm. It's funny because I increased my prices and I don't do consultations mm -hmm. like that. One. That's why it's on your website? It's a wrap. You're not on there like that, man. We need to update it. It's okay. been a while. I've said, it, I've said it several times on my podcast. <laughs> Guys, I've conversations like that. I've increased my prices. So once again, you're reaching. You failed. Hey, it's on your website. How's that a reach? Again, we need to update it. We right. update so that's not my fault. That's your fault. fault. And by the way, that calendar is looking full, though. I don't, I don't know, man. It sounds like a cult. Uh, bro, we don't do you. calls hardly ever, bro. Like, we just... We, we, you know what's funny? <laughs> Wait, why did, why did Walter just admit that? <laughs> it's like, bro, shut the fuck up. Playing with the most toxic pro player awkward. Wait, what is this? Ah, uh, so it's a bunch of uh... eight hours and thirty minutes. What the fuck, guys? It's six a.m. on your time, right here. Oh, we stream uh, this on Twitter. No. Just, just, just him. Feeling sprung. But that's true, though. I got just one again. Sigma weak, Sigma weak, Sigma weak. Mercy one, Mercy dead. Good finish. Life Weaver saving these faggots, man. <laughs> Jesus. Good shit, guys. Back to those 2015 streams. Okay.
because we, we phone people all the time and it, yeah, we, it's not we phone people, man. Zoom calls with everybody. We literally phone for somebody a couple days ago. I don't do conversations like that anymore because I'm pretty significant. All right. It ain't nothing. Whatever you say. I've mentioned on the podcast a million times. Hey guys, I've increased my price if you're gonna book consoles more. How much is it? For how long? Uh, thirty minutes. That's what this one is, right? I mean, well, an hour maybe an hour. Well, now I changed it to a thousand for twenty minutes. What the fuck are you going to tell me 20 minutes that's worth $1,000? That's fucking hilarious. Well, that's changing. The, the thing, Ethan, is it's, again, Hold it's on. to protect time so that we can focus on the podcast. Because you said we film three times per week or do three live shows. We actually do six. We do one during the day, one during the night. We cover how to make money on Money Mondays. We cover how to date on Wednesdays. We cover calling shows on Friday. We talk about self-improvement, how to get in shape, how to make money, how to invest, how to get into crypto. We cover multiple different things. Do you, think, uh, do you guys Hold think on, that... Ethan, real quick. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. This, happened, this happened today, actually. Hey, man, you probably don't remember me. We had a question call back in 2020, uh, 22. I was in a rough spot financially, physically, etc. Today I'm making six figures, have a great physique, and just really had a bit in my life. The kind of list of that call that on Fiverr. What? No, it was emailed them. Coaching call. Thanks again. Uh, knock emoji. What's your price break. for 20 minutes? $1,001. Yeah, no, oh. I, I, I know you can order testimonials on Fiverr. What's your point? No, it wasn't testimonial. Oh, it's, it's not. Word. Guys, tell me this. When you're trying to coach guys how to pick up girls, is it important to give them alcohol? What? What? Here's, well, here at the end is the clip of the, it's in here. Date idea is going to work, guys. It's just that the drinking one tends to have the best ROI because you're meeting at night and it like loosens a little bit, right? So alcohol increases ROI, and especially when they're un right. drinking one tends to have the here's well, here at the end is the clip of the, it's in here. Date idea is going to work, guys. It's just that the drinking one tends to have the best ROI because you're meeting at night and it like loosens a little bit, right? So alcohol increases ROI, and especially when they're underage. And by underage, I mean under 21. You guys give a lot of under 21 girls alcohol in your studio. Here are nine different girls under 21 drinking on Fresh and Fit. Under Florida statute, this is a crime, blah, 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 blah. Trying to reach here, bro. I mean, like, what they're saying is true. I mean, depending on how... I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't give any charitability to them in terms of dating advice, obviously, because we disagree on everything. But I also wouldn't accuse them of being rapists um, without knowing more. But I mean, I, obviously, it is true that if you meet somebody at night and you're drinking, the chances of you getting laid are going to be higher, of course. But I mean, like, girls and guys both play into that. Whether that's good or bad, I mean, you'd have to see the context on how that advice is given under 21 you should obviously never be encouraging it and don't um don't take an under 21 girl and feed her alcohol because you can get i think felony fucked isn't providing alcohol to a minor a felony providing alcohol to a minor or is it just a big misdemeanor okay second degree misdemeanor charge for first time offense Depending on the situation, we can be charged with a misdemeanor or a felony. Huh. Careful. <sighs> uh, I'm Ashanti. I'm 18 years old. Okay. Um, 18. Uh, here she is drinking a Forsico de Trunque. Uh, She's a single day drunk. She provided by the producer of Fresh and Fit, who is a former high school teacher, by the way. <laughs> what? Ladies. Yeah. Are you gonna tell me there's water in her cup? Well, here's the thing. Was that? Well, 18 today. 18. Okay. 18. What's up, 18 year olds? Good Yeah, she'll tell you, man. My name is Zoe. Come on, in the Zoe. 18 years old. She's when I see guys that are single, I see her. I see a lot of shit. But when I see men that are here, they are. 18. Myron's liquor bottles in the middle. They're sipping Kool Aid, I assume, right? They're having a grape yeah, no, soda or uh, orange soda. I want to see who in particular this is. We can't see anything. We can't see anything. 20 years old. 20 years oh, for real? Yeah, we well, can't see. Would anyone really be prosecuted for giving one drink to an 18 year old? Uh, if you sell alcohol, you can absolutely get fucked. I'm pretty sure the state will send people to test you, where the state will send somebody who works for the state. It's almost like a secret shopper, but for alcohol, to see if people are selling without IDing people or whatever. Uh, for an individual, would you get fucked for it? I imagine the thing would come up if there was like another crime committed, or if you were accused of another crime or something else happened. So let's say, like, would you get arrested just for buying a drink for an 18 year old? Maybe not, but let's say that you got caught speeding and you had a minor in your car who was drunk or something. Maybe that would be thrown on, it depends. If you had an open container or something, maybe, I don't know. But hey, I'm just saying, careful. Okay, well it's a video of like you having girls on. Hello. They introduce themselves. A lot of them are saying they're 18. This girl just said she's 20. But anyway, and then it cuts to you guys, and then it cuts to you guys back after the show drinking with them. So my question is, is it good to give underage girls alcohol? Does that increase ROI? When was this, when was this video? Uh, can they not see it? I mean, it's right here. Can't see what, what date was that? Oh, I can tell you. It'd be easier if we could show you, though. Is that on our side, Dan? You Someone at the pizza shop I worked at accidentally served one of those people a beer, and the store got a big fine, and she incurred a fine. That's if that's all that happened. She got super lucky. Um, because I think you can lose your... Uh, I think you can lose your liquor license if you fuck that up once. Maybe it takes two times, but you can get in big trouble and lose your ability to sell alcohol, period, if you fuck that up. You guys pretending you can't see it, or you can see it? Yeah, no, we can. I can see you. Um, you can see it now. 
Yeah, we can see the video now. Okay, cool. Shanti, okay. I'm 18 years old. So Shanti's um, 18. Okay. Here she so, is drinking at Cinco de Drunco party. Cheers in the back. to uh, Thursday. So she's sipping yeah. water, right? So there's two situations here. Number one, some girls lie and say, I'm 21. And we she said she's 18 in, in front of you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Or the second one, if we know that they're not 21, we put water in their cups and we do the Instagram story anyway. Uh huh. I not, did, how did I know that you were going to say they're drinking water? On yes. Cinco de Drunk Day? Yes. Okay, okay, so, okay it's water in the red cup. Ladies. Again. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it once again. Bro. Yeah, if no, we, I totally believe you guys. They're turning up with that hot water, Cinco water, de Drunk Day. Put water in their cups because it's an Instagram story. Well, I, I, so, what, I think it's such a great idea for you guys to pretend like they're drinking. Minors are drinking. I can see how that benefits you. You talk so generally when you ask legal questions at Destiny. These laws differ by state. Yeah, that's correct, you fucking retard. Like, yeah, what. Everything I just said was a general thing. But there's no state where you can sell alcohol to minors and you won't get fucked for it. So I don't know what the fuck the point... I'm sorry, are there, are there states where what I just said dramatically differs? Where, oh, actually, no, in this state, you can sell all the alcohol you want to in 19 years. You won't get in trouble ever for it. What do you mean? Yeah, the, uh, these things will vary state by state. Sure. Whether it's a misdemeanor, whether it's a felony, how exactly you can get fucked for it. What, like... Thank you so much. I mean, that's such a plausible explanation. Well, you, go, like, you know what would be awesome of us? Again, to pretend like the minors have alcohol so people think they have alcohol, but again, actually it's water. That's again, such a, that makes again, so much sense to me. You are assuming, which is why we do it. You're right. Check. You caught me again. So again, you're reaching. You're reaching once again. I'm not inside the cup. No, I'm not inside the cup. You're, you, you got me. Wrong. You got me. I'm not inside the cup. You're trying really hard, but yeah, man. Build. it's very so no. easy. And, and so here's another one. <laughs> but it's not just once. It's, it's many times. <laughs> Here is... Um, you actually brought this I'm up. Today. Yeah, I know. You're very happy about it. Okay. She's 18. Yeah. 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 Let's just watch it. We'll finish this yeah. in a few minutes. This girl's also 18. When I see guys that Yeah? You need to fire the people that did research for you, bro. You okay, really well then tell me what's wrong with it. They're single. I see her. I see a lot of shit. But when I see men that are in here... So, um, again... So here she is 18. You guys, there's alcohol at the table. And you guys gave her a fake alcohol cup with water so that it didn't look awkward. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's for promotion. Also, so, we include everybody so they don't feel left out. Exactly. So, I don't think you understand how shows work, especially how these type of shows run. But ultimately, bro, you're wrong. And again, we protect IDs, so it's all, it's all legal. Yeah, man. So Can I ask we, you a question? Can I ask you a fun environment, best of environment, et cetera. <laughs> so let story. me just follow the logic here. You invite. You have an 18-year-old in your studio. You guys finish yep. the show. You yep. go to the kitchen. You pour everyone drinks. That's before the no, show. It's before the show. Okay, before, before, right. Before it's good to get them liquored up before the show, so it's, easy, it's easier to speak with them. Water. And actually, we tell Water. them, ladies, don't get drunk. If you're yep. able to drink, because we will talk on the show. We don't get more than two shows. We don't get more than two drinks, bro. All the time. That's very responsible. Your own. Okay, so, so hold on. Let me just follow the logic. So you're at this table with a girl who's 18, and you say, um, here, take this cup that looks like what you would drink, a red cup, which is synonymous with drinking alcohol, and I'm going to yep. put water in it so that people watching think you're drinking alcohol with us. It's for the story. Yeah, it's for the story, bro. Okay, yeah, the story really. Okay, that's all. Awesome. Hell, if you watch our podcast, now, you think that's a good idea? You see us with red cups, and we don't drink, and we're drinking. Water. I know you don't drink. That's why you guys are such creeps. You get girls around you drunk, and you guys stay sober. That's like hallmark creep behavior. Again, Myron, and you think that's a good idea for eighteen-year-olds to have so to have red solo cups, so that didn't you have a red cup with water? Yeah, but I'm not going to speak in their defense or against them. I don't, I don't fucking know if they give minors alcohol on it. It wouldn't surprise me if they do. It wouldn't surprise me if they didn't. Um, I, but I can't speak with any certainty on any of this shit. I don't drink that much, and I didn't drink on any of the show, so I don't, I'm not plugged into any of that shit. I have no idea. I don't, I don't know, like, the ages of any of the girls I was on with anyway, too. Unless they, I guess they go around the table and they say, but I, I have no fucking idea. So it looks like they're drinking alcohol? Why is that? Water, is that so, the, it's so hard, dude. It's water. It's like, I, know, I know you guys are saying it's water, but why would you want to even make it seem like you're drinking with them? Bro, they don't want to be left out. Hey, can I get a cup too so I can do cheers? Bro, so you, but it, 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 that's not even close to worth the perception that you're drinking with minors. Just don't give them a fucking cup. Only weird was that you give them a glass. Cup of alcohol, live with back. Re I'm the only person who thinks there's alcohol in a red cup. Based on how shit is generally run around there, does it seem like the sort of thing they'd be careful about? Um, so there's two huge things that are pushing in opposite directions, which leads me to say I don't really know. So the one thing is, do I think they would give a fuck if like minors were drinking? Probably not. No, I don't think so. I don't think anybody gives a fuck. It happens in gaming, hotels, like everything. I don't think anybody cares. Look at the KD George shit. Um, but I have heard them say over and over again and complain that a lot of the girls that show up will either be too drunk or will be doing um, or will have done drugs beforehand. And they tend to not like that. They don't mind if the girls drink a shot or two, I think, to get like loosened up for the show or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Or I don't know if the fuck I'm after. I don't think it would be that because um, they'll fuck them regardless because the girls want clout. They don't need to get drunk. They just want the clout. But um, I have heard them complain that if the girls drink too much, like you guys get dumb on the show and then they've got to kick them off because they're too drunk. But I think that sometimes they'll try to drink anyway. Like the girls just want to drink because they're all fucking ratchet, insane women who will drink as much as they can regardless or do drugs in the bathroom or whatever. So, yeah. I, but like in terms of like their actual policy, I don't know. I've never seen a fucking ID anybody, but they might have. But also I might have been on shows without any under 21 people. I have no fucking idea. I don't pay attention to that shit. I don't give a fuck. Bro. No, no, it's not about that. It's that it's water, dude. I mean, hell, I even have a red cup when I'm... 
Why would they want to make it look like minors are drinking alcohol? Come on, bro. They ju they do like a ton of group photos and group stories. That's like a really big part of the promotion. Uh, whether it's like a thing where they all tip their glass and do cheers or some bullshit. I, I mean, I can understand them wanting everybody to shot. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Don't care that much. I'm sitting here at the table sometimes, it's water. Well, a lot of the times, and here's other thing too, because people- And, and when what about on Cinco de Drunk? But like the types of girls, no offense, that go on these shows are generally not the types of girls you would have to get plied to, um, to, to fuck. They would fuck you anyway for clout. Like they're not, <laughs> these aren't like, we need to get these girls really drunk so that they'll fuck us. Like it's not these types of girls. It doesn't work that way. Also, if that was the case, it doesn't make sense for a girl to drink a ton and then do like a five hour fucking after hour show. Cause she's gonna be sober by the end of the fucking show. I even have a red cup when I'm sitting here at the table sometimes, it's water. Well, a lot of the times, and here's other thing too, because And when you're, what about on Cinco de Drunk Day? They weren't drinking, bro. <laughs> of course that, 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 not. That girl in particular was not drinking. Maybe the other girls were, but that girl wasn't. She was sober the whole show. If, you, if, she, if she was really drinking alcohol, watch that episode. Oh no, wait, you don't watch the episode. Why was she sober as fuck, man? <laughs> Yo, bro. Like, Ethan, like, the proof is in the Watch the episode, and you can see. She's not slurring her okay. words, she's not fucking stuttering. She's sober right. as a whistle. She's sober as a gopher. Yes. Once again, another L on your part. Like, yeah, no, I'm taking fat L's here. It's right. she's sober, dude. I'm taking fat L's. Yeah, dude, I just I like to hang out with my younger fans, and I give them red cups that are traditionally used for drinking alcohol out of them, and then make it look like I'm drinking with minors, just so they don't feel left out. That's what you said, which is insane. Chris That's Hansen would like to ask you some wait, questions. Wait, are you telling me that you never drank alcohol when you were underage? Well, you you drink drink not, you not with fuck, yeah, yeah, bro. Wait, so, oh, wait, hold on. Did you just confess? When you were young, was that a confession? I think you just confessed. Well, it's <laughs> not my responsibility. It's not the minor's responsibility. I mean, you're 30 fucking four. Drinking with 18 year olds is just pathetic. We don't and drink, weird. Weird, bro. Uh, yeah, you guys don't drink. Makes it even weirder. It makes it even weirder. It right makes there. it so hey, weird. Ethan, let, let me explain to you. The, 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 the underage girls drink water, and then the girls of age, okay. they want to drink when they show up. Got it, got it. They drink so, water, have a red cup. If they definitely have alcohol and the girls do drink, is it too much of a jump to assume that they did give them the alcohol? Um, so again, listen, I'm not here to defend anybody or attack anybody, blah, 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 but pre-show, what I usually see is Myron is running around for 20 minutes, autistically obsessing over camera angles. <laughs> and adjusting every fucking camera and going back with the producer dude. Um, Fresh is in some other apartment with his dog, or I don't know where the fuck Walter is before shows sometimes, but usually Myron is like walking around like autistically checking every fucking camera. Um, and then if the girls are getting drinks from anybody, it's just other people working behind the scenes. But again, like these girls are not girls that you have to like loosen up. Like, I don't wanna say they're whores. That sounds like really mean. Everyone on the show is a whore, the guys included. But I'm just saying that like, if you're trying to get these girls wasted to get to fuck them, it just, the, the things that would, wouldn't make sense are that, well, one, you don't need to, because these girls will fuck for clout anyway. And then two, um, these shows are like four or five hours long, aren't they? These after hour shows. So like you're, they're gonna be sober by the end of the show. Um, and then three, usually after the show, I think for every single show I've been on, usually we all go out to eat afterwards. Uh, or at least Myron will always be there. But I think I've seen him at every single after, after, um, after hours, the dinner that we'll go to afterwards. So it just, yeah, I don't think anybody, these girls like need alcohol to, to wanna fuck, it just doesn't seem like it. But like, could they be drinking? Sure, could people on the Fresh and Fit uh, production crew be giving them alcohol? Maybe it's possible, yeah, I don't know. The only thing I ever hear about is usually Chris or Myron are shouting at people like, don't let people get too drunk or don't whatever, cause they'll fuck around on the show and it'll be stupid. But again, I don't, yeah, I, don't, I, never, I never watch this that much, I don't give a fuck. And we, we no, do it so they feel that. included. Yeah. We want yeah, them to feel special. And then the girls that are older? You want to so consider the girls' feelings when nervous. it comes to drinking and, and posting. And but in the studio, to, like, we don't care about them. them. We'll give them one or two at the most because we don't want them getting fucked up in their age. What's the problem with that? I've if seen lots of drunk girls in your studio, man. Girls passed out. They come, they come here. What do you see, bro? Well, you say you give them two Okay, whatever. Let's continue. No, 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 Ethan, let's go on this road. What do you see that's drunk on the show? I've seen I've seen videos of girls, they're drunk on the show, they're drunk on the couch in the back, etc. And they got drunk before they came here. Okay. Don't give them more than two to three at the absolute So moments. here they are cheering. Um, here's a 20-year-old girl. I mean, the other ones were 18, 20. Hello. I'm 20. She's 20. Oh, I'm 20. Okay. Uh, it's I'm under 21, answer. by the okay. way. Take a seat right over there. All right, cheers. Here are the 200. 200. 21 girls with Blossom Myers liquor bottles here drinking out of a red cup, which is filled with water, so, so we don't, we, we don't want them to feel left out. We don't want them to... We're so considerate of their feelings before the show. Once the show comes on, we may be lying. 30 minutes actually. Years old. We'll start. Um, See, Ethan, are you like, uh, like, here's the thing, Ethan. When girls come into the studio, right? A it's a big podcast, thing. they're nervous, they're not sure. Yo, so, like, we obviously podcast. have to create a certain aura so that they can feel comfortable. Now, some girls want to drink, the girls that are underage, we don't give it to them. But we have our producer here, he's talking with them. We have girls that work for us, they talk with them, they chat with them for a bit, put some music on. You got to create a little aura for the girls to feel comfortable. Then we so, do the podcast. Right. The red cup with water is the, is the crown jewel of comforting. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah, you know you sound silly as fuck. Girls that come on our podcast are 21 and above. Sometimes it's cranberry juice, sometimes orange juice, but the reality is the majority you, of You asked me if I'd ever drunk, drank underage. Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah. Ethan, uh, I didn't do it, in, but, I, but like if adults were offering me alcohol, do you think that that's like, like, you know what I mean? That's weird. No, because you're trying, you're trying to virtue signal right now. Is Wait, like, well, how did, he get, how did he get alcohol when he was underage if adults weren't offering him alcohol? Did they steal it? <laughs> I don't understand. 
like underage huh? drinking is the thing ever, but you participated in yourself. <laughs> as a as an underage, as a minor, as underage. a minor, I participated. As an adult, it's a different story. If you're, okay, but sure. as a minor, I participated you with other minors. Of someone that wasn't 21, okay, man. You ever didn't give a beer to someone that was under 21, okay, man. Sure, we believe that. Just like you believe us with the, with the water, right? Okay. Yeah. Sure. And, and all cases of drinking are the same, not like um, going to a date. Uh, yeah, okay. I think you guys wrapped it up here pretty good. So, how do you guys, so let me ask you this. How do you guys feel about this interview? It was great because you literally brought up all the points that people like to criticize us on, and we were able to debunk them with 40, 50,000 people watching. We got what, <laughs> KNR, almost 40 KNR watching. Yeah. I don't know how many you have on your end watching, but yeah, I mean, you made a bunch of claims and accusations, and they're just simply, you know, it's almost like has a sense of Andrew Schultz's podcast. Andrew Schultz. Tried to get out, gotcha. And yeah, didn't, it's right. Try to call us anti not true. Try to get, oh. ask us Andrew Tate and say that he's a trafficker, can't substantiate your claims. Try, you know, I, try to, I showed you a video of him confessing to it. To debate here, to debate certain topics that we talk about all the time. Try to say that we're single, or no, say that we hit our, hide our girlfriend. That you're monogamous losers! <laughs> losers. losers. Okay. Let me just ask you one last time. How many Jews died in the Holocaust, you two? You told us already, bro. You, you told, told us. us. Ooh, you know. We don't know. How many? So to, to rephrase, so, so to recap the interview. Uh, we give minors red cups full of water so they don't feel left out for our Insta stories. Andrew, we, Andrew, we, we, we love the documentary Europa, which is about uh, neo-Nazi conspiracies, about based. Jews controlling the we world. Said with, basically, we said based. And you said it's based. Nowhere, nowhere do we say we love it. Okay, based, right. Thank you for that very important difference. That the, is a big difference, because yeah. if we're saying it's based, that means it doesn't uh, align with mainstream media narratives at all. Okay, good, thank you. I'm sure that's, we all know what based what means. Matter? So you say Europa, which is a, which is probably one of the most anti-Semitic films ever created, is based. Um, then let's see what else we touched on. You touched on that, we touched on that, let's see. Once girls post, pick, scan, uh, uh, revealing pictures online, it's over. Unless they're our girlfriend. Then we can then we can move on. Um, when you're in a committed relationship with the girl. She's you posting pictures like that, that bro. It's a rap, man. It's a rap, bro. It's a rap. Yeah, yeah you, you play, play sound bites. I think you don't understand. You play sound bites if you're saying you love Hitler earlier. Yeah, we can. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, you guys got you me good. Yeah. You're not too Except you guys right actually love Hitler, that. it sounds like. No, you called this the N-word, bro, Ethan. I remember that. You remember okay. that? All right. I remember that. So what? What you're false? Are you like a? Are you like a false well, accuser? Sure. Are you doing like false accusation cosplay? Oh no, I'm you making false accusations all day. Assuming mine are based on evidence that I show you. No, no, I'm assuming what you said that word. You meant us. I'm assuming. Huh? Oh. Okay. Is that what you don't? Oh, you. And then again, you, it's funny because you played that clip, but you haven't played it again. I said when you're in a committed relationship with a girl and she has pictures of herself. Oh, you want to play it again? That, Can we, do we have the? So that's very important. No, I'll play it again. She's with you when she does that. That's a problem. And then once she gets into a relationship with you, and she <laughs> can I just read this to you because I think it's funny. It's, it's not really an expose. There's, no, there's nothing necessarily wrong. With it. I just think it's funny. This is your um, uh, dating profile for the uh, sugar daddy one. Oh, now uh, you're showing it. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so I can see the screen though. Say what? I can't see the screen. Okay, now I can see it. Uh, social media influencers, content creators, I run popular podcasts, maybe. I bet Avaka Sodi can't guess my ethnic background two tries. I own a high ticket coaching business that nobody's booking. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Who knows? And I'm realizing that Notorious B.I.G. song, Mo Money, Mo Problems, is disappointingly true. Nice I'm try, hoping you don't add to that disappointment. Are you having money, or Mo, pro Mo Money, Mo Problems? Yep. Damn. I have so, more money than you, and I'm, I'm, happy, and I'm I good. I'm happy to this bio with you because just so you know, this bio has been copied by thousands of people. Yeah. Okay, just oh. you, and I can explain to you why I use this term for phrases. Not funky, but here's some of my numbers. Only four percent of male population is over six two. Less than three yep. percent of males make over three hundred thousand. Only five percent of men are in shape with abs, and only oh, point cool. and only and only most other men have a personality that actually makes them desirable to women. I have to invest in these other three so that we don't have to think about that. You lucked out. I have all three in one package. So yeah, yes, girl, zesty snap. I'm picky for a reason. Beauty yep. and women is common, but high value men are not. Be yep. prepared to compete. Yep. On so, God. So, so Ethan. Um, Here's the thing, when you write profiles, you'd be surprised. When a woman finds you attractive, she actually does read your profile. They spend a lot of time reading I, I know, that's the problem. Crazy things. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just cringy. Because, no, you can say it's cringy, but yeah. there's a reason why thousands of men have copied it, and I get messages from girls all the time saying, yo, this is literally your profile, okay? They'll use my pictures, and they'll use that same exact verbiage. Now, here's the thing. I'm using a bunch of things here. I'm using cocky funny. I'm using... Uh, crazy arrogance. Now, here's the thing. We will sit there and say, I don't like assholes. I don't like cocky guys. But guess what? What they're aroused by versus what they're attracted to are two different things. Unmarried. Assholes like me. And the other thing, too, is you need to let women know that you're better than them. Okay? And I know that sounds like a foreign concept to you. Unmarried. Oh, okay? So women date up, right? Women want a man that's better than them. You need to exemplify that. Now, on a site like, and here's the thing, you got to use a different game on different sites. I would never have a profile like that on Tinder or on Bumble. But on Seeking, you need to have a profile like that because you're dealing with some of the bougiest of bougie women. So you need to fight fire with fire. Bougie women? You think bougie women read that and respond? That's funny. You'd be surprised, they actually. I'm do. fucking top, top 3%. Be prepared to compete, I have, I have, Buster. Yeah. I've seen it firsthand. He didn't lie to you. I get hundreds of messages. I show my street profile before with people talk shit. And, and yet you're still unmarried. You don't know how to, you don't know how to enter a respectful, uh, uh, you don't know how to enter a relationship that is meaningful and strong enough that it would be turned into a, a fruitful marriage. You do not, you lack that potential. And I think that's sad. And I how hope you that you guys that? pursue with your girlfriends um, who are lovely ladies. Uh, yes. That you hey, ask me something. Over again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're saying that we don't know how. Wouldn't it be fair to say that if I'm if I've hooked up with a <laughs> girls and I dealt with a bunch of women, I'm probably probably going to be a good assessor of a good versus a bad
Ethan. Well, Ethan. Oh Ethan. my god, bro. Oh god. Oh. Just, I think this is the least convincing argument of all the red pill shit. Fucking a lot of women doesn't give you any guidance into like managing a relationship. Just like managing a relationship doesn't give you a lot of guidance into fucking a lot of women. Like a guy that's hooked up with a thousand girls might not know how to maintain a relationship. A guy that's fucked one woman a thousand times probably doesn't know much about hookup culture. The idea that like fucking a ton of women gives you some kind of insight into managing relationships is if you don't date any of them doesn't doesn't make any sense. I don't this is like super unconvincing, I think. Get it, man. You, you just don't get, get it. it. This married guy doesn't understand dating at all. No, no, because, no, because, well, he doesn't understand the game. Trick question, by the way. When we asked you earlier, yeah. you didn't give any real way for men to meet women in the modern That's day world. That's not my business. I don't give a fuck. I haven't, okay. I haven't written a guide. Well, then you are not equipped to have this conversation with us and to try to debate our well, tactics. it's not that deep. Yeah, unfortunately for you, it's no, not, it's not, that, not deep. that deep. It's not a yeah. PhD. Yeah. I understand all the and concepts you bring up. Yeah, now, now it's not that deep when I'm explaining it to you the nuances and how that's important when it comes to attracting women. And the Only 5% of men are in shape with abs. Like, yeah, the platform that you're on dictates how you deal with the women. When you're on a site like that, when you're dealing with women that are some of the most attractive <coughs> in the way, that are dealing with multimillionaires, multibillionaires, etc., you have to be hyper competitive and also let girls know that, yo, beauty is common for me. You're just a regular chick. It is what it is. You have to almost knock these girls off their bitch pedestal. But you wouldn't know that because you haven't dated in 2024 and you're because not. Because I'm married and know how to have a healthy relationship. Okay, so you are not equipped to give men dating advice in today's day. As, as a healthily married uh, man with a family, I don't have it. I'm not in a position. If you became single tomorrow, yeah, you would have no fucking clue on how to navigate the modern day dating marketplace. Divorce tomorrow. What'd the you marketplace. You guys are so oh, funny. What's up? What's up? Ethan, if you got divorced, what would you do? Go knock on your mom's door. No, good one. Not it good. is. It was good. It was. Great. It wasn't that bad. We're just, just being silly now. We're just being silly. That was okay. No, no, no. We're just being silly. Yeah, do your fat. No, no, no. I got you, coconuts. You look upset. Yeah, you, you look yeah, emotional. Yeah. Is that emotion? Yeah, I'm actually, with the mama joke. Ethan, did you want to go ahead and criticize my essay profile and how I deal with women, etc. Right? Your sexual assault profile. Why would you want to? Why would you want to advertise that? You denied it. My sexual assault profile. Okay. You said essay profile. I mean, Jesus, man. Seeking arrangement is what it stands for. Oh, okay. I got the two mixed up. I'm so used to thinking about the other one. Yeah, yeah, coming, yeah. yeah, assuming like you've done before and you got debunked. Uh, did the whole show, by the way. Um, so yeah, Ethan, this that's girl, a bad question. Uh, the girl. What would, you, uh, what would you do if you got divorced tomorrow? This girl, say, can they see this man? Better than you. What are you if do? I found a, if I got divorced tomorrow, I would, I would go out into the marketplace and I would fucking, I would talk about how rich I am and how successful, and I would fuck so many bitches, dude. All right, is that easy? How would you go about it specifically? <laughs> My, I, 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 listen, this girl on the left is 18. She's drinking out of a red cup. The girl next to her is drinking out of a water bottle. Uh, if she's drinking water, hold on. This is a good. If she's drinking water out of a bottle, why is the 18 year old girl not drinking water? Why is she what? drinking out of a red cup? She brought her own bottle. Ta da! She brought her own bottle, man. Congrats to you. Buddy. you share the bottle, dude? Okay. Yeah. All right. There's water in those cups. That's what everyone believes. Yeah, bro, bro, like, bro, they don't know each other. You're trying so, you're hard, trying so bro. hard, man. Like, bro. Hey, 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 uh, coconuts. Is hey, this what it's like when you go to, to, to like McDonald's? What would you want to order today? You so. You tell me. It's right. the cost. You, you tell me. Fight. They had all this time and that's the best meme they could come with? It's funny. <laughs> I thought they would have come up with like me holding dynamite or something. Like, wow. oh, damn, bro. That was, that was you holding dynamite. dynamite? That's not funny at all. Our meme guy's out today, actually. Yeah, that was from the subreddit. Thank you to them. Yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty funny. Anyway, so, wait, I, I, how'd you I, go I, about, I, like, how'd you go about if you were single, bro? Like, I, I'm asking. Like, what Listen, you said previously that most older men would have sex with an 18 year old, but you consider them mentally children. So, do you think it's unethically because you can't meaningful consent? I think that when I say that people are like children, I, I think that carries like different connotations depending on what we're talking about. Like, I would say the same thing that like a 22 year old is also a child, <laughs> but I'm, I don't mean like literally actually a child, right? I don't consider an 18 year old to be actually literally a child. I don't consider a 22 year old to be actually literally a child. I think by 18 around there, you probably have the wherewithal to figure out if you wanna fuck somebody or not. You can also get taken advantage of too, but you know, it just depends. 22 year old get taken advantage of, probably a little bit less likely than 18 year old, but it depends. Here's a question. Like, I don't care. Tomorrow, I don't care. What would you do? Now, if we're talking about a fresh 18 year old, that's different. Care. Now you don't care. I never did. Interesting how whenever we ask you a question or we're having a, you know, get into a real well, it's like a weird, it's it's like a weird hypothetical thing. Don't I don't know. I have a lot oh, to think about. When you asked me earlier, oh, well, what if Andrew was actually a rapist? Like, we, like well, I'm asking you your opinion on like a concrete specific video I showed you. Oh, it's you're, you're, you created like a fantasy world where I'm, you guys fantasize about my divorce a lot more than y'all think about your own fucking girlfriends. Bro, things happen, bro. If you get divorced, it's okay. Just... Uh, okay, I get divorced. Uh, what do I do? I um. Okay, yeah, what do I do? Okay, let's see. Well, if I talk to a lawyer, I get a mediator probably so that we can part ways amicably. We talk okay. about it a lot. We go through a lot. You know, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to split up. We talk. We probably maybe even couple. We'll get some couples therapy. You know, to make sure everything's good because we want to do. We want to do healthy co-parenting because we love our boys more than anything in the world. And then I'll probably get lunch. Um, I'll to go to McDonald's that? and I'll tell them. You tell me what to get. And would, you, would you try to negotiate desire? Like, is that the, the therapy? Would that, is that what it would be? Or, Sorry, say again. Would you try to like negotiate a desire? Is that why you do the therapy? Negotiate what? Desire. 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 Negotiate desire? Yeah, because that's typically what therapy is designed to do. Oh, you guys are doing one of your weird, like, red pill terminologies? I mean, you it's, negotiate. It's, how do you negotiate desire? 
I mean, if you're if you're meeting, do you not believe in therapy? At a predetermined location to meet with a therapist to discuss your relationship, and you go over problems and like, hey, well, I don't like when you do this, and I don't like when you do this. Okay, well, if well you we're do already this, divorced, okay. so it's more about That's just. Ends up being a lot of the times is you take out the trash and you give him sex. Blah blah. We're already so divorced. Okay, so that's what I'm asking. Are, like, you're trying to go to therapy. What's the point of going to therapy? If you guys because we have three boys that we love. And we want already said it was to figure out the co-parenting stuff. We want to co-parent them healthily. Okay, you can, you can do that through the court system. No, I want to go to a therapist. Oh, you want to go to, why don't you want to go to Why would you do that with a court system to figure out how to healthily parent your children? I, that's, okay. Court system. I, would, I prefer to talk to a professional with a degree. A judge or professional? <laughs> with a degree? They've yeah, well, actually, JD, with a degree. Right? They're JD. They're so, a lawyer. Yeah. So, they're a so your claim, you said classes? What did, what did you say? Because yes. you said we want you rather go to therapy, and I'm like, why go to oh, therapy? Because of divorce. You could let's just let the court system handle it. Right? Yes. Yeah, right. uh, all right. Listen, cocoa but, uh, coconuts, uh, uh, my boy. Let me talk. I love you. Ethan, did you really want to debate, man? Because this doesn't seem it's like three a and a half hours. You guys, you guys are just milking it because you have high viewership, and you don't usually don't get this many views. Uh, for me, it's not that big of a deal. We actually do get. We actually get more. <laughs> Aren't the red pill crowd part of the whole courts or against men thing? Yeah, that's what Myron is trying to get him into debating. That's why he keeps asking, why would you trust the courts or whatever? Because he's trying to get him into that line of argumentation. Well, we literally, you, you remember that Rumble, but yeah, we split the audience. Right now between uh, Rumble and YouTube, we got 34,000 watching. And how, much on YouTube, how much on YouTube, how much on Rumble? We got 17,000 on YouTube and another 17K on Rumble. How much you got, buddy? 45,000. 45, That's great, bro. Thank you. Well, well, you know, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Walter, me and you, though, there's a connection. I think, I think there's something special. You've got, a, you, you've got a face that I like, and I think you're a sweet guy. Uh, but you guys have gotten pretty boring, and I just you're don't boring, care anymore. Bro. You're boring, bro. Yeah, now, no, you're now boring. Now you're boring. Now it's like, you're oh, boring. boring. All right, have like, a good my, show, guys. Why are not working anymore? I don't know anyone watching this podcast, bro. It's just so boring. I agree. That's why I'm hanging up on you, morons. Okay, buddy. More ad hominem attacks. Yes. 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 It's right. Right. No debate, just ad hominems. Why piglet? Do you call me piglet? Wait, you call me... Wait, hold on. Walter, you call me piglet? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ethan, I'd be happy to have an actual debate in person. Wait, hold on, hold on. Walter, you call me Piglet? <laughs> no, no, that's that coconuts. That was me. That's oh, okay. So, coconuts, uh, you called me, you called me. Uh, well, hold on. Didn't you congratulate me on my weight loss? Why would you go after my weight? That, okay, ma that so hurts not, my feelings. You're still bigger, buddy. You're still bigger, but hey, you know what? Hold on. Work. Hold on. Hold on. Get there. Ethan, Let me see your on. abs, coconuts. Let me see hey, those washboard Ethan, abs. Ethan, you've been a little thick there, bucko. Okay. Oh, sorry. Ethan, you've been, you've been munching a little too many coconuts. Those have a lot of calories. I know you know how to do that. Okay, look, Ethan, I'll just We should mukbang together, for real. I don't care about Myron anymore. <laughs> Myron, you're not just... Hey, Myron, can you quiet down? We're trying to talk to Walter. Myron, let them okay. in talk. So, look, so you guys don't want to have a debate in person. I, don't want, to, I want to talk to Walter, who I find more, much more interesting. Walter, we should do a mukbang. I think it would be fun. Two guys just eating and shooting the shit. Mm -hmm. no, I'm good, bro. What? Come on. Oh, you guys look upset. You know, okay. you know what you should do, bro? You should focus on staying married. Oh, yeah, Obviously, I am. I, ha I am. Thank you for the advice. That should be Yo, me and you know, you know, Yeah, no, it, it, I take my marriage I, very seriously. I, I Thank you for that. Birth, like I'm, I'm going to be honest here, Ethan. I genuinely thought we would have a good discussion. Uh, a I debate. don't know why you thought that, dummy. All right, I don't yeah. care. We got to go. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> dummies. All right, it's been real. Oh, Thank you, guys. Real. No, I, I don't want to end on that. You know, no, I'm being facetious. I'm being silly. I don't want to. I, I thank you guys for coming. Uh, we talked. Have a discussion in person. Uh, actually, we uh, did something. Uh, I think we'll see what it is. Yeah, part two. You want to have ad hominems. You didn't debate any points. You just attacked us personally the whole time, which I knew would happen. But you just showed Hold on. Hold on. My 18 year old friends are here. Hold on. They need. No, you guys. Hold on. My 18 year old friends are here. Oh, no, no, no. You can use the alcohol. Cup, just put water in it for social media. Because you guys used to be based. Now you guys. Hold on, I'm talking to my 18 year old uh, friends. Yeah, put that alcohol. Don't, you don't need to drink alcohol. Just put water in it for social media, so people on social media think you're, I'm drinking with minors, which is cool. Decline, dude. This is why. Like, Ethan decline. It is true. You have to move subscribers for a reason, my friend. You sold out. Everyone knows you sold out. You're not capable of having a rational debate like I tried to have with you. My mistake was holding you to a higher standard. To be honest here, that's really my mistake. That's fine. You just embarrass yourself in front of what 50, 70 thousand people live that you're not able to have a coherent, articulate discussion with another adult. Hell, you even want to do it in person, which tells me the type of man that you are. Yeah. How many people died in the Holocaust, Myron? Yeah. You tell me, man. All right. I'm a neo-Nazi. You're yeah. such a good... You're bad. No, no, no. Don't, no, no, no. Not yet. I want to do this. Damn. This is anti-Semite. You failed. You guys say we're racist. You failed. You tried to say, you tried to say that we're sexual assaulters. You failed. No, don't, no, no. Not that. Look at the chat. What do you mean? I can't see what chat. Oh, man. No, do the whole thing. That whole thing. This was uh, what you're showing. Is he showing something on screen? Yes, can't see anything. We can't see anything if you're showing it on screen, dude. Okay. So, I mean, all right, I'm good. Okay.